Hey, Hank Sangria. Hope you're soft. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this Drake Chats Motherfucker Podcast. Make some noise! Hold up, hold up. We got something to present to you guys on behalf of CBS. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. They want to congratulate you on 25 million listens. Wow. Oh, damn. For real? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Damn, you knew it. You knew this was going down. Yeah. Yes. And you didn't tell me, you yes. foul fucking guy. Hey, man, you're not letting me act right now. Yeah, I ain't gonna run. I ain't gonna run. Hold that up real quick. Yeah, that's what's up. 25 million. And yeah, we're doing it hip hop. Million. That's beautiful. We're doing it hip hop. So I would like to introduce. This is a serious. If you are into hip hop, if you if this is something that you say you love, mm-hmm. and this is something that say you adapted, and you don't know these two brothers, and you don't know how these brothers shape and molded the culture, for everything that you love right now, if it wasn't for these two people that standing beside me, in front of me rather, mm. what hip hop is, is because of them. Mm. They single handedly had their hands on the best artists ever <laughs> when you think about Illmatic, mm. you think about Reasonable Doubt, mm. you think about Biggie. Mm. They work with the three top best. They continuously out here looking young. They out here <laughs> and then and then the beat battle had just took place and a lot of people uh, with Swiss Beats big him up yeah, and, and big up Blaze. Just Blaze. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know that these brothers been doing this for years. Mm-hmm. For years, they started it. Mm-hmm. And I am so proud to introduce and to represent people that I look up to personally. Pete Rock and motherfucking DJ Woo! Premier. Make some Make noise. Some noise. <laughs> Yo, listen, brothers. I'm going to be honest. The fact that both of you brothers had worked on my favorite hip-hop album of all times, which is Illmatic. Um... Now, I just want to take it from there because was it because we had Q-Tip on here and I believe Q-Tip, I think he said he suggested that that, that he worked with um, them mm-hmm. or Tomorrow. so how did. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. 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 So was it large? Large professor. Yeah. Large, large professor. professor? Yeah. All together. He, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 He's the actual well, chief and commander. He's some weed. Yeah. He's, some weed. Yeah. Yeah. he's, he's uh-huh. actual the chief and commander of Illmatic. So oh. get the fuck out. Yeah. So you telling me. You never heard of Nas. Both nah, of you brothers never nope. heard of Nas. And, and the thing is, back, you know, Queens artists, including yeah. yourself, yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. for one, y'all rap longer than any other brother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> With no hooks and no true, breaks. True, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> and, That's true. you know, Lars yeah. Professor is so New York, like, right. he'd be like, yo, like, yo, mm-hmm. like, like, word, like, yo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd do that for like 10 minutes before yeah. he say his sentence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he'd be like, yo, I, yo, Preem, I got this dude named the rapper Nas. Mm. Right. He would say nasty. Now, it yeah, wasn't the, nasty. Wait a minute, what time was the rapper? Rapper Nas. Oh, Rapper Nas. He was selling his lyrics on, 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 um, So he wasn't even nasty. Rapper Nas. He does it on Rapper Nas. He does it on Rapper Nas. He does it on Rapper Nas. Uh, hanging yeah, out. Yeah, hanging out. He said, wow. like the rapper Nas. Yeah, yeah. he said, he wow. said, oh, shit. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. and that, so even with rapper Big Noy, right. I figured that's just a thing. Yeah, rapper Noy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rapper Noy. That's, that's a Queens thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a Queens thing. Yeah. And we got we got Pete Rock. I mean, we got Premier drinking Jim Bean out of yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah, I want to You going to take a shot? Yeah. You got shot glasses, baby. Okay. I'll can take you, a shot with you. Someone open one for me, please. Yeah, no, you go open it, baby. This is your shit. Whatever you want, man. Thank you, sir. Yo, just so y'all know, just so y'all know, y'all been, y'all, y'all personally raised me. They probably didn't know that, but um, it was so an uh, honor to work with both of you brothers. You brothers are hip hop. When I think Straight of hip hop, I uh, y- y- your name. I know uh, both of y'all names start with a P, but it's, it feels like it feels like your name should be A. You know, the first time I met you, D and D. Let's I'll go to D and D studio. At the front door, mm-hmm. you know what he said? Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, for me, what's up, man? Yo, my name is Jose Luis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and the thing is, the L A L A record that comes out. Come on, come on, don't worry about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'll join you guys. You want to shot too? Yeah, I do. Oh, you okay? We got him drinking. I'm 50 years old, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I got experience. You gonna you gonna do on whiskey or you gonna do? Yeah, I'll do Syrah. Oh, you gonna do Syrah too? One shot, one shot. Don't yeah, kill nobody. Yeah, yeah. Hey, kill give, nobody. give him that shot, and then you pour another one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but the crazy thing is, when I heard L.A. L.A., right. you opened up the line and said, "Jose right. Luis got Jose you. Luis got yes, you. Now that's how we do it. Ara, 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 Let's make some noise for Pete Rock and Premier. Goddamn it! 
I used uh, to hang in Queens with Flush. Wow, I heard Large, you play an unreleased. Was that unreleased? On, on Main right. and Casino. Was that an unreleased Flush verse that Colder, you just played? Yeah, I, that was Worldwide Remix I never put out. Mm. Uh, and yeah, that beat, that yeah. beat. We got to do that beat I for your album. Beat. I owe you a record for your album. I got, you. <laughs> I got to do that beat yeah, for your you album. Yeah, I owe you, I owe you. <laughs> I also big you up for plugging me in the Supreme. A lot of people don't know mm-hmm. that Pete Rock was the person mm-hmm. that plugged me in oh, with Supreme. Right. I didn't even know that. Let's make some noise. You don't smoke, right? Yeah, I do, but just not on camera. Just not on camera. Uh, All right. I, I, I did. I did mine. <laughs> for, you know, in '92. So yeah, let's, but, but, now but let's, the herbs still flow. Now herb let's take flow. it. Let's take it from the beginning. It's still flow. Um, premiere. Yeah. How did you and 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 um Guru even meet? I met Guru because. Um, it goes back to 1987 into 88. Um, my good friend, who's still my man, uh, Carlos Garza in Houston, Texas, yep, helped me Carlos. get a job at a record store. You're from Texas, yeah. originally. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. He's, and he's from Boston. Boston, yep. originally. So, okay. Wild Pitch Records is a husband and mm. wife label. Shout out to Stu Fine and Amy. Was that Surge? Yes. No, uh, Surge was later. Surge was later. later. Okay. Yeah, it was just Stu Fine and his wife. No mm. one else. They didn't have no rap promotion. Guru. Was the person that would go over to their house every day and, mm, and right. listen to every demo that came in. Mm. They they had Lati already signed, who's Apache Recipes. That's yes. Apache's brother. Yes. Wow. And Lati uh-huh. did a lot of writing, you know, with Latifah and, and the Flavor Unit. Yep. Right. And he had a record called This Cuts Got Flavor, which was big in New York at the time. Right. Mm. That and putting on the hits. That's how 45 King came into doing the wild pitch work. Mm. And oh, then Chill Rob G came along, who's also part of Lati's crew in the Flavor Unit. And he got signed to Wild Pitch. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gangstar got signed after that mm. in 1986. Uh-huh. And uh, so they had a record called The Lesson. I wasn't in the group then. Uh, three, Gangstar goes through three different chambers. The first chamber was Big Shug and Guru wow. who named Gangstar. Wow. It was Big Shug and Guru when, Guru when Guru was going to school at Morehouse. Right. So they, he, they, they And they, they both from Boston, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. And, and, and it was Shug's <laughs> brother, uh, Suave D. Mm. They were the first Gangstar. Then Suave D stepped out. And it became two MCs, Damo Deesky, but Guru wrote all the rhymes. And mm. it was Guru and then DJ Mike D, but he was called DJ Wanna Be Down. So, wow. But it's D- DJ One, the we number got, two. We gotta bring that name The back. letter B DJ and down. Wanna Be Down. Wanna Be Down. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it was One, the number two, and the letter B and then down. Wanna Be Down. That's so he, uh, he has a brother named Gangstar T. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Who, shit is deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, deep. so all of that trickled down into the name, but Suge and, and Guru originated Gangsta. Big Suge, so, yeah. we talking about. Shout out yeah. to Suge, yeah, yeah, everything. He, he's doing the right. thing. He's in movies now. Yeah, he's doing right. Black yeah. Mask. Yes, that's you know, right. Yeah, we're, we're working with uh, Larry David, all right. that stuff. Yeah. So, so from there, um, when Guru moved to New York, the rest of the members didn't go. Suge got locked up for a while, so now it's just Guru on his own. Mm-hmm. But anytime uh, work wasn't involved with any money, no one would come up to New York to help them do any any moving right. around, hopping around to get get in the clubs, get on the radio. Cause they weren't they weren't really getting radio play until they dropped their second single called Buster Move Boy, which is when I heard them. I was in New York at the time for the summer, and Red Alert was cutting it up, Molly Ma was cutting it up, and if they're playing it, I, I right. thought they were called Game Stop <laughs> because of his Boston accent. He's his Gang Stop. But I played. Oh I Buster shit! Move, I played no doom, knowledge. Doom, 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 doom. Mm-hmm. That's why I was telling you. That's when that's I came. That's when you came in. Yeah, but this is right. This is right before. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think in, in control was just about to start yes, bubbling. Yes. Um, but before Magic left. Yes. But uh, and uh, Chili Q used to be up there then, yep. and and uh, Kevy Kev. Yep. So Me too. when yeah, and you too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we met yes. when I met with Guru. Yep. I met you at the Red Snorkel. And Snorkel messed on. up on the mic. Too. Yeah, yeah. You had the Red <laughs> what? Snorkel. Stop. He's yeah. like, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Then he's like, Nah, keep it going. Keep yeah, he'll keep going. He'll keep going. But so from that point. Uh, the, those three artists were the label Chill Rob G, Lati, and Gangstar wow. And 45 King was the only producer that worked it for, after that After Donald D produced the first single wow. So from there uh, Guru used to go through a box of the demos when Every time mail came in Because back then it was about mailing your stuff Or right. walking it in right. uh, Carlos snuck my, my, my demo over to Stu Just beats? Your beat I, No, I, I was in a group called MCs in Control in oh, Texas oh, shit. And my MC was from Boston His name was Top Ski Right. It's top ski. Where, 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 uh, where, uh, where, where's um, Kino at? Oh, and, and, Lord. It's He's top right ski, sugar pop. And what the guru say? And guru said, get him tea. out of there. No, 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 <laughs> they heard my demo, but they didn't like my MC. They like me. 
Mm. And they were like, we really want you. But I was like, I can't. Basically, you're saying they like the beats. Right. Okay. And right. my scratching. They were, okay. they, they were bugging off my scratching. The scratching was huge back so then. So mm-hmm. I didn't really want to leave my group. So I said, I can't do it. I'm, I got to stay stay doing what I do. <clears throat> Time passed. My MC pretty much got frustrated after going to shop and other deals. We couldn't get a deal. So he said, I'm, I'm joining the military. I thought he was just bluffing. Right. One day we're at the house. Shout to Gordon Franklin, the whole Franklin family, Gary, Arden, rest in peace, and Marilyn Franklin. We were staying at their house after we were going to college together. That's how I met them. And next thing you know, the bell rings on a weekend, and the recruiting officer's at the door. I'm like, yeah, man, I he's you. out. He's like, yeah, I'm looking for Theodore Campbell. I'm like, for what? He said he signed, he joined the, the oh, Navy, shit. and I thought he, I was like, I thought he was lying. I'm <laughs> like, yo, Tom, I re- yelled down in the basement because we all lived together, and he's like, yo, I'm, I'm out. He has his bag packed already. Wow. I'm like, how long did you did you did you join? He said for four years. This is MC. Yeah. Okay. He said wow. four years, and Guru already knew it met top everything. Wow. He, I'm like four years, so I'm not gonna wait for you no four years. Mm. He said, yo, I'm out. Do your thing, so, and that's when I called back to to uh, Wild Pitch. Say, yo, my man, my man left, so I now I'm available uh, to, to no, not be in the in the group because that's my front man. And the group was like, I want you in the group. the group, so that's how I joined Gangstar. And wow. then from there, yeah. uh, Guru found my that's he crazy. found my tape <laughs> and Lord Finesse's tape. That's how Lord Ooh. Finesse got signed to Wild Pitch, and mm. that's how I end up. That's the first artist I ever produced was Lord Finesse. Well, besides Gangstar, let's right. make some noise for that. Yo, that's <laughs> Yeah, I did not think it was like that. Yeah. Okay, so now, Pete, yeah. how did you meet CL? Y'all yeah, went to school together? Yeah, we went to school together. High okay. school, met through some street guys. And, uh-huh. um, you know, when I, I heard, you know, they was telling me he could rap or whatever. And when I heard his voice in high school. Because you was always a producer? Yeah. You was a producer? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, in okay. the hood, I, I started right. doing my high school parties, DJing. Right. You know, I right. became a, a DJ in my environment. Right. Motherfuckers, you know, mm-hmm. flock to. So mm-hmm. I met CL. He had a distinctive voice. We did like 50, 60 demos in my basement Damn, on right. a four track. You right. know what I mean? Four track. Four God track. Like, and yeah. got signed off that shit. You know what I mean? Right. Did, like, we was taking like Dance to the Drummer's Beat and making right. songs, you know, <laughs> taking yeah, the break beats that right. my man Lenny from the Bronx was putting right. street beat, and I would make beats out of them shits. Just normal shit, and then. Because Mount Vernon is it. like, it's like, I. The Bronx being a place of hip hop, right? Uh, birthplace of hip hop. Right, excuse right. me. Mount Vernon is like right his cousin. Right it's his cousin. Right yeah, yeah. Door. So, so y'all you know, had to have hip hop just as. You're, you're, I'm originally from the Bronx. Oh, I'm from Gun Hill Road, bro. Wow. So like, wow. I, you know, when I was young, mm-hmm. I went to Bronx River Park, not knowing what was going on. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All I know is I seen a bunch of cool dudes mm-hmm. smoking, drinking, mm-hmm. and listening to hip hop. Mm-hmm. That shit had me. And then when I turned seven years old, I met James Brown. What? And Damn. I think that's At seven? Turned wow, into that's going to change your life. Boy for Pete Rock. You know you know and James Brown. At seven years old. And Heavy D's your cousin, right? Yeah. Heavy D's your cousin as well. He's my cousin, of course. Yeah. Family. Yes. R.I.P. You know, R.I.P. R. R. Rest, Rest in peace. Rest in peace, bro. Right. And, you know, he, he took me under his wing. And that's how I learned everything. That's wow. how I met everybody before wow. I even became who I was. You know, wow. I was... Teddy Riley, I was in the studio, how we teach. So now, now uh, let's take it, let's take it to um, reminisce over you. Mm. Which is such an iconic mm. song such for him. Such an hip-hop. iconic song. But now that is about an actual person, correct? Yeah, yeah my man. Can, can we break that down? Yeah. It's Troy, right? Troy, uh, Troy was yeah. on tour, Heavy Dean the Boys, you know. Right. Him and Kid and Play's road manager playing around. You know, we used to always be on tour playing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And they were playing with empty garbage cans and throwing them throwing them, trying to hit each other, and oh, no, you know, never Troy, heard. you know, missed the steps when he was at the edge of the stage. And oh, damn. I didn't know it was 20 feet, it. though, wow, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And have called me and started to crying, and you know, the whole hood is all fucked up, you wow. know what I mean? And I don't even, today to this day, I don't even know how I was able to listen to a record and make a beat, because I was so distraught that my man, right. I mean, the whole hood was, he, he was infamous in the hood. But you know how legendary that yeah, record is. I mean, that yeah. music can yeah. yeah. so do that, him, though. You know? wow. Music can do that, though. And when right. I found the sample, you know, I was with Extra P when we was uh, in Queens. Wow. And we were digging, and I found the record. You know what I mean? Mm. And we, you know, took it home, fucked with it, you know. And um, next thing you know, I put, you know, after the beat was made and everything like that, we, we got in the studio, CL came with the lyrics. Wow. And yeah, it was just like, but he didn't have the beat. Like, he already wow. had the rhymes wrote, but he wow. needed the beat to match yeah. the rhymes. Wow. And that's very, like, that that's ma- not easy to do. Yeah, that's magical wow. for that to that's match up. That's magical. Yeah. yeah. So it, 
it melted right in, and I was just like, God damn. Classic like, record. It, it talked about his aunt and, you know, did, did, did you Did you know that was going to be as classic as it is when you made when it? When we, I had Charlie Brown from Lee Decision in the studio, uh, uh. and he was there for the mix down. I mean, we, we, we just all out crying. Like, I, I just let it out. Like, I ain't even care if he, you know, who was around. You right. know what I mean? Because I was thinking about Troy. Mm. And he started crying. Mm. And then the engineer started crying. Wow. And wow. I said, I think we got something. Uh, that and record I think, to this day, you know. Yeah. You know the only thing I don't, I don't like about that record yeah. is that I wish I made it. Let's make some noise. For me. For me. Everybody like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you saying is wrong about that? So, There's a lot of shit you made out of So man. now, I gotta take it to one of my favorite gang star records. Mm. Right. One, 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 one with the mass appeal. No, I'm one of oh, my favorite. I'm, I'm, I got, I got, we got all night. Man. I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay. So, mass appeal. <laughs> what drugs was you smoking <laughs> when you made that? <laughs> That's the Wula era, man. That makes you know it's Wula, 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 Wula. You know, it, it's crazy because yeah. I mean, it's everybody down. has their eras of, of getting lifted. I mean, now the pills are there of these young kids. Yeah, yeah, now, they're crazy. That's not my thing, yeah, but I yeah. mean, yeah. we all have ways of escaping and, and, and uh, music and, and drugs and drinking and sex and all that, right. sports. It has always been in a twine, but it's all about how strong your mind is or how weak your mind is. But right. I've always kept a strong go. mind to know how to turn the switch off and get back to like the manage normal, it properly I'm glad but I made mass it mass appeal yeah yeah you, you were high the, you were high we've been high for years yeah alright for years you know when I heard that beat I was like what the fuck is happening yeah, like, yeah, that you get the shit, mean head nod like, to that, that joint that was a good old day yeah. Yeah. it was at 93 into 94 the album came out 94 okay. the song came out 93 but I mean those, those were the good old days of just you, you, you know, you, you would torch before you go in the lab and start cooking something right. up. And, right. and, and even with or without, I mean, my, my approach is still the same. Right. So thank goodness that, that it is because I'm still active, even right. at 50 years old. The, yeah. the work mm. is still coming. Yeah. We're still active. We, we still are addicted to making beats oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and performing and DJing. Yeah. We're like, we're and addicted battling. to it. Yeah, yeah and battling. And battling. You know right but, but Master Seal was a, really was a, we was actually making it as a goof to radio because we wasn't getting ro regular rotation on radio as a hip hop group. But like Guru always said, we got platinum respect. So we were like, damn, all the platinum artists are loving us, but we can't sell, sell no records. But everybody that, that's platinum and selling millions love Gangstar. Right. So we were like, let's make a radio making fun of radio. And I said, I want to make something that sounds like you're in an elevator going, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so that was my, my mind state yeah. when I wanted to make the records. You know, you yeah, know, you're in yeah. elevators yeah. over here. You're yeah. crazy yeah. Elevator though. music. I'm, yeah. like, I'm thinking about your logic to so it. You found the record that was closest to what <laughs> closest was already to in where. Your head. Exactly. Oh my God. Just like James yeah. Brown. Mm -hmm. oh my God. Closest to what? That's what it is. There's a lot of times I pre hear the song. And I'm looking for the stuff that matches my what I'm looking for. That's why the drums mm -hmm. usually come first, which you know, because I, it's like, you know what? I'm going whatnots on this one. I'm going in Pete's on this one. I'm going sub on this mm -hmm. one. You know, mm -hmm. we kind of already know where we're going to go. Get that producer talk. <laughs> God damn it, I love talk. producer talk. You gotta I love the whatnots. You gotta in the early it. days of my gangstar career, he, there's three people that really taught me how to get to the level, actually four, of the level that where I just said, now nah, I'll take anybody on, I'll battle <laughs> anybody. Uh, he taught me how to filter. Showbiz, uh, from DITC, from Showbiz and AG, taught me how, up. how to chop Pieces beats. Of my man. I learned how to chop beats from Showbiz. Mm. And then Lars Professor just showed me crazy tricks that he used to come to my house right. and, and chill with us because we, we met me him too. first. Right. And we used to go to Ms. McKenzie's yes. house, who's, who's the DJ's uh, yep. the mom, yep. Stir Cutting K Scratch. Yep. I mean, K Cutting Stir Scratch, yep. so we used to go to their house. So I was around Lars and Pete a lot, and they, I, they were way more advanced on the be programming from, from me. We all went into the records and sampling, but my skill didn't really get to a point until around 92. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When uh, I started working on Boom Bap with KRS, because Boom prior, Bap, that, original rap. Yeah, they produced that, that too? Yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. Not, that, not that song, but oh. the majority of the From the original. Oh, that album. Yeah, album, 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 album. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Mortal Get Thought. Out yeah, out of here, Mortal Damn. Thought. Uh, KRS One Attacks. And you um, did Christian and my lawn too. You was uh, Christian and yeah, You killed that yeah, album. You yeah, killed yeah, that. You know, so I think you got a lot of money, my nigga. The Master Bill was just a laugh. At radio for not playing us, and then it turned out to be our biggest hit. Damn. That's that, yo. That's, 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 that's not crazy. And then you know, you know, you know, you know, and you know what else? I gotta, I gotta go straight into. It. I'm so sorry. Stick up, kids. Oh, mm. Justin, that was a true story. 
Mm. Just to get a rep, we just got our deal. Mm -hmm. We were living in the Bronx on 183rd Street. I moved out of East New York. I moved Wait, to 183rd Street. I was Street. living in the Bronx? Yeah, we moved to the Bronx on 183rd Street. That's how I met. That's how I met. That's, that's how I met. Pick up Ching Bing. Yeah, that's, 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 that's how I met Panty from the NYGs. Wow. Uh, uh, that's how I met Smiley, the ghetto town. Uh, Nutcracker from the Bronx. Nutcracker and Group Mama. Yeah, that's they, how they, we all from the Bronx. Right? I lived on 183rd right. and Andrews, and they all lived down the hill. They all lived down the hill on Andrews. You was in the hood, Yeah. East New York, I was in the hood. So what happened was we got our first check. I was moving into in with Brad from Marcellus. Uh, he, he he was about to be the um, music director for the Tonight Show with with uh, Jay Leno. Uh -huh. So he, he and his uh -huh. wife and his son were still still living there before they moved to L.A. They was you know so they were kind of back and forth. So uh -huh. at the time. Before he made, officially moved, he, we all moved in together. So now it's Branford, his wife, his son, me, and Guru all living together on 374 Washington in Brooklyn. Right. So we moved back to Brooklyn. Right. We mm. both bought our first brand new cars. And, and you know, I had a, had a, I had a whip right? already, but I bought the MPV. Which so that was the car all, all, yeah, for the yeah, time, for sure. Yeah, 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 but yeah, it was man. very famous. Every yeah, of course. Every yeah, that was the car at the time. time. We'll take videos. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. Well, all in my mind was It's a Jack Boy car, too. Because it was the sound system everybody knew me for around the way. Okay. So, when when that happened, Guru bought a Forerunner. These were when the Forerunners was brand right. new style, body style. Uh, Guru got into a problem with some dudes in Brooklyn, and uh, he, he they tried to stick he, him they, up. They, yeah, they, and they and they took the car. They took his car. Tom Tom passed. We went looking for cats, looking for cats, couldn't find the car. One day, uh, we just before moved GPS. Over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One day we moving around, we see the car, start chasing after the guy. Going after him, he's high speed chase. <laughs> Cops see us, start chasing too, going after him. He's like, that's our car, that's our car. Cause they, they want to pull us over. Right. They go after him, car, he keeps on driving. <laughs> He, the driver hits an ice cream truck and dies. <laughs> oh, so, shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because Guru had a picture of him the day he got the car and he's in front of it going, like, like yeah, I got my car. Right. We go to the precinct where they brought the car and it was all smushed in and everything from the from the crash and it was all smushed up. And Guru said, like, I got to take a picture by it. And he's standing by it going. <laughs> so the first picture yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before IG so, He said I'm writing a song about this mm. And we wrote the song And see the album only has two verses When we came out with the video with Fab Fry Freddy And did the, he said we need a And Lexus like Smooth was on that oh. they, they, That's me scratching their, their oh, hook yeah. I mean they, their voice on, uh, oh, from, from, on that, from Funky for You They were on Dwight okay. Oh yeah that's right, that's right. When, Dwight when, so, so Fab Fry Freddy said We need a closing way of the video and being a, that the guy did die in the end, right. he said we gotta do a third verse. So Guru wrote the third verse, and that's why the 12 inch has a different type of a bounce wow. and it's been re recorded. Mm -hmm. There's okay. three that's verses. Yeah, because this did sound Yeah, it was 1990. So, that that, yeah, isn't that crazy that we wow. actually found a dude, took, took off after him, cops go after, uh, after us, and we, once we say, you know, we're trying to get our car back, and the dude's running and crashed to an that's ice cream truck. That's karma for you. An ice cream truck. Yeah. And this is why you gotta instantly. love Gangsta. This is why you gotta story. love it. True story. You gotta. Now, Pete Rock. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the world is yours. Woo! Woo! I was a hater then. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, that made me I'm, stand still though when he heard the beat. Shit, you I'm, I'm, hold, hold on, hold that, hold up <laughs> for a second, because I want to say arguably might be my favorite record on wow. Illmatic. And Illmatic's my favorite album of all time. Wow, and mine too. Not because I'm on it either. It would have been my favorite. Even if I, I, I ain't on it at all. But I'm, glad. Glad. <laughs> but I'm glad I was. I, I was made at the that cut. So, I'm glad. so I, the yes. I just want you, you to there. describe. Oh, you was there. He was there. Just to watch. I just want okay. to watch. Yeah. He was there. Wow. So, all right. So now you meet this kid of uh, that large professor, correct? Yes. yes. Brings you yes. to him. Yes. And then they say they want you to work they on came it. Came up to Mount Vernon. Okay. And there's a story where I had Nas waiting. I didn't even realize. I don't even remember. Mm -hmm. you know, he said that I was in the car talking to a girl, right. and he was behind me. But I, you know, if right. you behind me, you get out. Right. Like, I'm here. Right. Like, you know what I mean? But he waited. He right. just stood in the car. Right. Shy. Yeah. Nah, but, it's just but still, naturally but still, shy. But still, great guy. We got it together. We got downstairs. Right. Mm -hmm. I go through a couple of SB 1200 discs. Right. right. So the first three. The second one I disc I put in. When I played it, he just said, "Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute." And he just stood there and closed his eyes. And I was like, okay, that means he likes it. Right. I just knew it. You know right. what I'm saying? And, and this like, is the world is yours, you yeah, say? He's like, like, yo, you want to sing on it? I want you to do the hook. 
Who's world? But you know, I was two hundred on some hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. And then we got in the studio, went to Battery. That's where we did it. You know, right. we were mixing. Oh, Battery Studio. That's our job. Job. Right? Okay. Job yeah. Records. Okay. I watch you lay the scratches in one take. Primo came in there, mm-hmm. and I did the scratches in one take. Mm-hmm. One I take. think that was the quietest I've ever been yeah. to. I just was staring. Just, just was like this, looking. And I was just like, oh. But the world don't know. Does the world know who Nas is? At like this time? like no? live at the barbecue? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Back to the barbecue. Again. Back to the grill again. Half time was out. Half time was out. Okay. Half time was out. Okay. Half time half time was what about out. back to the grill again? Was he? Back to the grill. Yep. Back to the grill. Yep. Yep. Back to the grill. Yep. Yep. Back to the grill. 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 Right. Like, mm-hmm. this right. is going to be crazy. Right. Did his three joints on there? Yeah, I didn't have three at the time. No. What, what the problem? All he had represent, but oh. not the one on the album. The one that's on the Illmatic is a remix. What? Not it's not the, the one on the vinyl, on the single? No, just the, one, the, that's the one that's on the album, period. Oh, okay. The one that's on the album, period, is the remix. Wow. I had the bass line. Yo, hold on, hold on. Yes. So, this is original. so what's the original? original? I, 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 I can play it. You got it. I got it. I would have to cue it up and everything. We'll do it after we put it in. We'll put it in, yeah. Yeah, but... I can't believe... That's crazy. I didn't even that story, Primo. Because I still can't believe... What is this? What is this again? We celebrate over 25 million. We're being congratulated by CBS. Yes. That's, so and, and That's yo, another yo. round of applause. <laughs> That's another round of applause. I, I knew I wanted another plaque. I just didn't know I was gonna get it from podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yo. But That's dope. Well the deserved. Fact, Thank you, hip hop. Thank you, hip hop. Yeah, yeah. The fact mm-hmm. that you know, um, I don't know if you guys know, but we only interview legends, not because we don't have love for the new generation, because mm-hmm. we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I feel like in hip hop, hip hop is the only. Uh, place that you get 10 years in, you get 15 years in, and they say you old. And hey, the, mm-hmm. they're right, we are yeah, old. We're older. But, but we have old Thomas music. Yeah, right. but, you know what but we are true to what we do, Absolutely. what we believe in. I refuse and to switch. So I just want to keep interviewing legends. Yeah. And for mm-hmm. us to have a 25 million That's plaque. Cool. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, E. Damn. And I fucking hate you. Because why would you hang in this He knew this. He knew he listen, had Listen, man. It was supposed to be. Uh, when did you get the plaque? Surprise, bro. Hey, listen, man. Uh, yeah, no, 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 come on, I hate you, you ruined more. that. No, I was supposed to act like I didn't know too. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. And then big up this Ray guy, Ray this guy's the worst, the worst. Big up the sidebar, my boy Ra- Raul. So Shout out to DJ why? Heron. DJ Heron, definitely, Heron, man. I see Heron, Heron, Heron all the time. You know what? I got you. Always got to big up Heron man, because if you go to a Heron party, you come around, it's real hip hop. Mm. The bitches are gonna be there with their sneaker scarf. With the hoop uh, earrings. That's <laughs> real hip hop. Like when the chicks got their heels on, that's not hip hop. Yeah. Like you got your sneakers gotta be dirty to a 100%. certain extent. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be real hip hop. But yeah. now, so you do the world is yours. <laughs> yes. You said after you did the record, you was just happy for him. Very happy. But did you did I'm you have the foresight to just to think that this guy would actually like, you know, uh-huh. this, this guy yeah, yeah. we right. knew he was gonna right. blow. Oh, you knew. Yeah. There was a lot of like anticipation, right. even when you guys yeah, were right. working on the yeah, project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody that in was, the game rapping like was, that. It was like rock him again. Nobody. Right. Right. Yeah, he stood in his own light, mm. but he was in, probably inspired by the Gucci raps, the Rise, mm. the Rock Him. No you question. Know. You know, no question. But um, you know, yeah, it was man. open. Yeah, that was that was that was the one. Mm. This was new and up and coming, and we were confident. Mm. And he was confident. I was happy. Were there a lot of records on that project that, that didn't make the project that you guys heard? That, was that the only beat you made? Oh, the so only it was beat. one and done. Yeah. One hit wow. or quitter. Now, the first beat that go in. Uh. Right. Y'all blown away from that. And then Q Tip did the remix. Yeah, man. And then, but well, hold on, on let's, I need yeah. to talk about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Q Tip remix just had me all upset. Wait, oh, wait, it, wait, wait, upset? wait. There was a, a World way. is Yours uh, remix that Q Tip. Like, oh, right. yeah. Yeah. like in a good way. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm like, damn, why I should I should have just did a quick remix? We all get that. You know, but and they're both good. amazing yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're totally totally different. You know, different approaches. His his talents are amazing. Q Tip, shout out to him. Yeah, man, that's our that's our brother. What up, Kamal? So now. You did. You said three joints. Represent. Yeah, uh, Memory Lane oh, and uh, New York God. State of Mind. Memory Lane. Oh, I know Memory Lane. Relax. You gotta relax. Me, memory Lane. Yeah. <laughs> memory Lane. Me, me, me and Nas we had a debate on that one because I actually didn't like that one. 
This is prior to his lyrics. This is the crazy shit. I've been, been, been in the studio yeah. with Primo. Yo, you really a he perfectionist, like, yo. Because I do it on the spot. Yo, you yeah. really a perfectionist. Yo, <laughs> I went into six times we couldn't get a beat, right? And then he said, yeah. he came to me, he came to me and said, What's your rhyme, nigga? <laughs> and I said, double flint drop. My whole colossal stop. I can't believe I broke up and made it happen. That's an incredible joint. Did he yeah, made, RIP to your pops, too. Did, did you right. made the beat in two fucking seconds flat. Damn. Is that... No, no. It's one of my big records when I perform. No, so. I, oh, I, but, but the thing about it is, is that what you have to... You have to hear the vocals first? No, because, no, no. Because... But what... what Y'all, our particular no, situation... War Report... Right. Is one of the best hip hop albums oh, ever thank, in hip hop. Thank you so much. Ever. Thank you so much, bro. You gotta understand. I'm, you're humbling me. I was right on now. the War Report. Right. And now <laughs> you got me on another one. Right. right. And, and not only that, you, this you, was the year reunion album. You emerged album. as a solo artist, too. Right. I mean, your first uh, your first Nori album oh, was thank sick. Thank that you. was. You it up. is sick. Thank you, my brother. I mean, th- like that, like it, to this day. But, but that's my favorite. I'm sorry, because I want to get back to Big right. War <laughs> What happened was, we wanted a Primo beat so bad. Right. Everybody we, wants a primo can, battery. Can, <laughs> be, be but just bad. for some reason, our schedules was messed up. Mm. And then we went to D&D. We went to D&D. Mm. And I felt like he needed something from us. And we just kept, wasn't giving yeah, it to yeah, him. Yeah. And then you just, the, 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 it was the six I section. I remember. It was the six section. You said. This is after he called and, 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 and screamed on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I was like, yo. And, too, and I'm, I'm a stand-up guy, too. So I was like, yo, just meet me this week. Because, <laughs> you know, the hard part is like, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know he's hood. And, 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 and he was like, yo, man, I'm feeling like, you know, yo, you're like, gay to bread. And all that stuff. So, and, then, and then that day, and you came with like, 30 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. sorry. You're not sorry. You're not sorry. No, but the crazy shit was, that, but. he said, What's your opening line? And I said that. I so said, you had that rhyme already written? Oh, no, I had the rhyme already. I just was waiting for something perfect to go Because that fit perfect. And then right. oh, yeah, I said yeah. it, yeah. and he said, say it again. <laughs> I said it, and he made the whole beat. Yo. He was like, say it again. And I was like, oh, shit. I swear, right. in my mind, yeah. I was like, he kept saying, say it again. I was like, turn, we had the television. Yes, yes. Had, my turntable was set up on a big old 1970s television. Right. Right. You know, with, the, with, the, with the wood and everything. Right. With the record play on the two. Mm-hmm. Joints. And I got the turntable and the mix on there. Capone sat right there and going, yo, I still can't believe you got a turntable on a television for the 70s. I'm writing my rhyme there. And that's what he said. He said with the 50 inch pan. I mean, those yeah. Yeah. The yeah. 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 That's the so with the Panasonic, because everybody in the hood and the but, projects have those little radios. Right. But what we got to do right now, Primo, mm. is describe D&D Studios. Because that's so amazing. that's like the I'm not gonna lie to pinnacle hip hop. D and D Studios yeah. was actually not nowhere near the hood. Nah, it but was it was but his motherfucker. It was in the block though, in block. the city. But once you get into D and D, you in the projects. Yeah, <laughs> and, well, that was a heroin, automatic. That was a, that was a heroin block when we when we oh. started working there in '92. <laughs> that was a heroin block. So mm-hmm. during that time, uh, a little bit prior, but before y'all started coming. Mm-hmm. It was drug central. There was no lights, so it was very dark. And they ran a newspaper route across the street. So we used to always beef with them. And it was a lot of fighting and threats. And and I'll go get my gun and all this crazy stuff back then. And and it was just... uh, I remember Heavy D, God bless him, came by and said, do we really got to finish the song here? (laughs) (laughs) But you demanded that people do everything. Because they set the 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 home. So uh, so Hev had to go. I went went and went over to Hit Factory to finish working with him. Because he was like, yo. This is grimy brain, but I was like, yo, that's how I do it. Because you had a machine that had Philly cigars mm-hmm. in what is it called? Um, uh, the, the machine? The uh, vending oh, machine. The vending? You had a vending <laughs> machine the bamboo with bamboo paper. and Philly. Yeah. Did you have condoms in there as well? I think you had condoms. Um, I'm not sure. It was all kind of weird stuff. It was all kind of weird. It was very, it was. In the vending machine. Just way, I, the, the dude had to restock at least every week. Right. Oh, that, for whatever yeah. the fuck was in yeah. there. Yeah, so the Phillies, <laughs> the the Phillies yo, were being bought. Yo, yeah. I kid you not. I, I used to be like, because you know, every time we used to go to the studio, right. we used to always stop in cigars. Right. But when we went to D&D, then we then said, we never stopped. Yep. We uh, said, just go straight there. Yeah. It was a little bit like like more expensive, right. but it was like worth it. They had them in the It was convenient. Mm. Yeah, much of the big deal back then. So now recently, Pete, Kanye and Jay-Z just hired you to do a joint. Describe what what was that like? Uh, Going to Hawaii, man. Black sand beach. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not know you were in Hawaii. Let's make some noise for that. He just flossed on us. 
so, so he, was, he was being a kid in a candy store with me. Jim Kanye. He's gotten his new whip, right. brand new whip, tag still on. Right. Me, him, Kid Cudi, mm -hmm. in Hawaii, burning the road from zero to 60 in, in less than three seconds. Right. <laughs> that's, that's how hot that now, car is. Now. He got pulled over. Oh, word? Police let him go. Cause, <clears throat> you know, He's Kanye. Yeah. But now, when he gives you that call, because at the end of the day, you represent the purest form of hip hop. Yeah. So when you get a call from Kanye, what is your first reaction? Oh, I'm just gonna bring all my knowledge around. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, he actually impressed me with what he knew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And from my interludes to just like music in general mm -hmm. and how he respects it. So right. I knew we was on to something good from the start. Right. So I started helping him out, like run away, or right. last mm -hmm. me in the back, you know, wow. helping him out. Um, and doing little beats, and, uh, you know, just right. getting it popping. But when we got together and did the joy, yeah. I didn't know Jay Z was gonna be on. Wow! Mm -hmm. So my engineer at the time was was Young Guru. Right. So Young Guru. Oh, that was your engineer too. At the, at the time, at oh. that time. So oh. I was working with him, and you know, he called me and he said, "Yo, listen to this." And I was driving at the time, and. He, <laughs> Voice got on there that was familiar to me. <laughs> it's familiar. That nigga pulled over, son. <laughs> Who that? Who that be? He's like, listen, listen. He played it again. So right. then I had, is that Jay Z? Right. Is that Jay Z? Right. We finally right. get right. something together. And that, because this is your first time working. Well, okay, go ahead. We finally, he wow. finally gets on the beat, and it happened through Kanye. So okay. he called your name on the wow. verse and everything. Yeah. Pete, Pete Rock, let the great. record drop. Yeah, he made, it, he made it real good. So right. I was happy for that, even though Primo was already, you know, right. well deep into Jay Z. Right, right. His music. Right. But, Let's make know. some noise for that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, Primo, yes. you were actually on Reason Moved Out, correct? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot of us done the DD. That's correct. Yeah. Credits say DD. Yeah. So now, this kid comes. Now, you already worked with Nas. Oh, yeah. Nas' mm -hmm. album's already out. Yeah. Uh, you already crowned the top producer, right. but now this guy comes to you. Mm. He got some bread, mm. but I know you. You don't give a fuck about bread. I know you. <laughs> I, it, and did you know him from Original Flavor? Yeah, I knew him before that. Oh, okay. yeah, oh before I that. Okay. Jay, I knew Jay probably about '87 oh. because Jazz O was on EMI, and then even when we got signed to EMI, which was through Chrysler's, the same distribution, right. Jay was still would always come up there with Jazz O. Mm. So. Anytime Jazz O would show up to any club or whatever, Jay was always with him. And back then, Jay had the big, long, dookie cable. Yeah, we go, we go get Jay Z to squash it with Jazz O. Yeah, for know. real. Yeah, yeah, for we were real. talking about that yesterday. Yeah, we were talking about that yesterday. Just, just drink just, champs. Yeah. We're going to spread the rumor. Just we're come spread together. We're going to squash beefs. Not so in now, go ahead. And, uh, so being so he comes are, to you. What does he say to you? He says, "Preem," because well, you've seen him in the industry. Yeah. And one thing about Preem, Preem don't give everybody a beat. No. You gotta prove yourself yeah. as a real MC yeah. to get a beat from yeah. playing. So what did Jay Z do that you said I'm a fuck? Well, even when it got to the point of uh, him hanging with the original flavor, that's when I was still in the Bronx and Chubby Chubb lived down the block mm -hmm. and they ski dirt? and ski. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. down, down University, down there, down the other way, mm -hmm. <clears throat> down the hill from me, from where we were. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, it goes uphill, down. Everything's down the hill, up the hill. Mm -hmm. we, we, they were down the hill from from where I was, right. and uh, so um, so. Being I knew Jay already, that they, they, it's crazy because Big L was already saying, "Yo, I, you know, if you notice, Big L was, yeah. was, was with, with uh, Jay a lot, but also uh, Jay was." They with managed a lot. Big L, right? Yeah, I believe no, so. Right. Yeah, we, they, they were they were merging into doing some work, which is how the Rockefeller sit, right. uh, situation was about to happen. But but uh, I knew Jay also aside from Jazz O when he was with Kane. Right. So I see him with Kane a lot right. because Mr. C, true. Mr. C's from LG. Lafayette Projects, yes, yeah, yeah, in Brooklyn. And then Mr. C moved in. I think it was his aunt or somebody's house was right yeah, down P, the block. You can't be taking shots on your own. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm sorry. Shots. Yeah, come on, man. This is so good It's a family me. affair, right, man. The story, the hip hop, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but you're. Oh, no, no, no. This is a drink chat. We spread love over here. I'm smoking, I'm drinking. He did it like on the slack. Wham! I'm getting my job going. I've been asking all sorts of people about the eye contact because I've seen people go, and I'm like, hey, you know, do <laughs> you know who do told that. me? You know who told me the eye to eye, and I want you to finish your story, please. Do yeah, because the fans will kill you. The fans will kill me. All right, but um, I was actually 
drinking with Joe Pesci one night. Wow. And he would Damn, not. You just stunned on us right now. I did? Yeah. Yeah. Was that a stunt? I didn't even know that stunt. Yeah. Like, you did it on You just stunned on us. You did it on us. You did it I got no one to finish the story. I know I was stunned. I thought it was regular. But go ahead, go ahead, finish the story, please. Because the fans might kill me. No, but he he would not let me take a shot without looking at him. And this is old school because um, this is the 90s. So I, everybody else from Queens moved to Long Island. Mm -hmm. I was the only fucking asshole that moved to Jersey. Right. <laughs> and so I was, you know, I was amongst, you know, the Italian. For some reason, I don't know why, but I always move next to the Italian mafia. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know yeah. why, but it's Yo, always some. I live by that. Yo, I live by that. You got to look at me. Yeah, you got to look at me. 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 Look and they just went in the, and I said, why? Why? I got to look eye to eye. They said, because in the mafia, if a person can't look you to the eye when they take a shot, yep. it, that's the person that's going to shoot you. Mm. Oh, and, wow. Damn. And, you know, back then, it was like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not no more. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I live by that. I've been living by that. And I, even when somebody don't do it, I always say, hey, excuse me. Just always look at me. Right. And, right. and uh, it's a it's a very, that's very real. important thing. Well, me. general so rule, they can't look at you in the eye, period. So now, Jay-Z, you know it's reasonable doubt. That's, yeah, that's I need real. To so by the time he got to reasonable doubt. How many times you did on reasonable Three. three. I, did, uh, I did the evils. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. He just be three for three in everybody, man. Fucking yeah. Illmatic and yeah. three. Yep. I'm and, and you gotta also I need understand. I you to manage me. By, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta manage me, Primo. By, what the by, fuck? By, by that time, me and Jay knew each other so well. Um, what you need? Uh, I was doing WBLS at the time, mm. and I was doing radio. So Clark Kent brought Jay Z up there to right. let me uh, hear in my lifetime the single that they mm. pressed up themselves. The original and, in yeah, my life because they had the, yeah, the two versions. Yeah, the yeah. one that had I can't get with that with right. Sauce Money. That's how I met Sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. So. When they brought it up during my commercial break and I heard it, I was like, yo, I'm gonna play this out of the commercial break. They're like, but you just listen to you gonna you gonna play it now? I'm like, yeah. Uh. Open the show with it. Right. Next thing you know, Jay's like, yo, I got something for you. Give me a bottle of Cristal. I didn't know what Cristal was because we were still drinking Mo. <laughs> right. And um, he like, yo, this is <laughs> the real deal champagne right here. This is big, big ball of stuff. Right. I was like, cool. And I, I saved it <laughs> for years and years. Saved the bottle? Yeah. Wow. And I finally drank it. And, you know, and now of course, you know, Jay don't fuck with Cristal. But, yeah, we don't you know, fuck yeah, with Cristal. Yeah, yeah, Cristal yeah, don't I, fuck I, with I hip hop, even, so fuck you. There you go. Yeah. I did. Fuck so, you. So now what, what is the spades now, right? Ace of spades. Yeah. So it's not space, the best, but it's okay. There you go. <laughs> you know, the, it, Did I say that all out? Actually, uh, actually, 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 at Nas's birthday party um, was the first time I, I tasted space because Jay came to the birthday party and was like, I was like, I've never tasted that. He said, oh, no. And he poured, poured me a glass and, we, and slammed it down. I'm, I'm more of a whiskey guy. I'm a brown liquor guy. Yeah. Whiskey guy. Yeah. Now, let me, before we get into this interview. Oh. Okay. So, before okay. we get into the interview. So, okay. so Dame... Uh, approach well, Jay approached me about it since we had had a friendship already. Okay, and then he introduced me to Dame. I used to see Dame in the Bronx walking his dogs all mm. the time. He had, he always had his dogs and he would walk them around because he was going to see Chubby Chubb and Ski because he was handling managing them. And he, right, now we were saying Chubby Chubb, we talking about Chubby Chubb DJ. DJ, yes, okay, DJ continue. Chubby Chubb from Original Flavor. And That's he's my a, man. He's a big DJ in Chubb. Boston. In Boston, That's yeah. My okay, man. okay. I was just saying Boston. Yeah, so yeah. so Dame used to be around there walking his dogs all the time. So we met then. But it was just small talk. We were just, you know, everybody knew Gangstar was at the time. We were, we were, we were known enough. Right. So from there, Jay said, this is the guy that handles the business. So I went and dealt with him, told him how much I, I'm, I said, I, because it's Jay, it's right. all love, I'm only going to charge you $4,000, which was mm -hmm. very, very, very lucky. And I don't believe in luck, but that's a blessing for me to give you that type of number. Right. So we went in the back, they gave me the cash, and I started getting busy. Now, Jay cash, called me. no check. No. Yeah. And, 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 and crack Jay, money. And, and Let's Jay, make some noise for crack money. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm just making noise for crack money. You know what it is. What it is. Keep it going. So then Jay called me and said, I got this song. Called the evil. He explained it to me. And oh evil. my God! Yes. That direction is crazy. crazy. He explained it to me. Then he wrapped the whole song on, on the phone. Oh. Then after he wrapped it on the phone, then he gave me the scratch idea. 
and said, I, what, what do you mean by scratch? Dear. He said, I want to do uh, So he said, had it all mapped out. Oh, yeah, scratches. Okay, okay, I don't want to, can you save me? Uh, and, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Illuminati got my mind. Right, so yeah. my body. I can't die. I can't even that. He said, make it go. He I can't gave die. you that? Yeah. Get he knew the, he knew the samples yeah. he wanted he you to cut. He didn't know not the sample to make the beat. He just just idea. the he gave me the idea of how to he Scratch said this is the atmosphere I want musically, right. but I want you to no matter what you make, do these scratches. And I went down there and I said, Yo, I'll be ready by the time you get there. And it was ready. When he walked in, I said, wow. dun, 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 okay. One question mm-hmm. with the scratches, he picked the rap record. That's what I'm saying. That he the picked scratches? the samples yeah, for the yeah, cuts. Yeah, yeah. He, he said, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, he already the had samples that, yeah. for the cuts he, he picked. Yeah, he, picked yeah, he picked that already. On the phone. On the phone. He that's crazy. Knows you know how yeah, to on the phone. It. So that's crazy. So he had that well thought and, out. And you know what's so crazy? Him and Biggie used to always lay their cut vocals, and then they both would leave and go, "All right, do the premiere thing." Uh. And they both said the same thing: "Do the premiere thing." They would <laughs> sit there like, "Yo, I gotta watch you, man. I gotta make sure it's right." Right. They said, "Do the premiere thing. We going out." And they would leave and let me just do my thing. I might have said, "Do the premiere thing." <laughs> <laughs> if you did it, if you did, you did. Once the <laughs> <laughs> first drop, <laughs> like, yo, I'm good. So now, P. Rock, yeah, man, you're established. Yeah. You're a super producer. Mm-hmm. You you've done everything. You work with the best. Mm-hmm. What makes you say, I'm going to do a whole album? First off, with Duck Down, before Smoke Dizzy. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you, you did a whole... Uh, no, Smith he did the Smith Loud Joint. The Joint on Loud. Smith and West, I did the Smith and Weston album. So it was and a then I had whole... Soul Survivor, too, on Loud. Yeah, on Loud. Mm. With, with Wu-Tang. Yeah, wow. every, I'm saying, no, yeah, he, he was on there. He was on there. Everybody on loud. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, that was the best label. You know that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just was crazy, man. What he was doing up in there? We One of the best labels well, So what, yeah, what, what made yeah. you say, you know what, I'm going to do a whole project with Smith & West? I think it was just the aura of who I was around. Yeah. And it just made me say, you know what, damn, I love all these dudes. And they're good right, dudes, too. Let me too. see if I can make a joint with them. Then right. I went to Steve. Right. He was with the idea, right. and I knew he could make make it happen. Mm. You know, then I was on the label; they signed me. You know? mm. and I was like, "Wow, okay." They, it's one album deal, but uh-huh. I said, "You know, I'm gonna make this one real good." You mm. know what I'm saying? And then, look, I got the talent around me. Let me just see what's up. And then, boom! I just go in and start making it happen. And now you yeah. got a joint with but Smoke. This it's funny the shit with me and you. I was. Me oh, and strange were getting fruit? real close with each other. Like, are we talking strange fruit right now? No, we're talking. Um, we're talking. The the fat Albert joint. Yeah, the shit on Soul. Were you on there? Yeah, yeah bro. you I coming in pun. I, I had I had such a great time yeah, in the that, studio. That joint, what was it? Green Studio. Yeah, Green Street. You was, you was Green in Street. Your Green Street. Look. Yeah, yeah, Yo, you, you, yeah. Look at my memory. Yo, my memory. That was the used to come that in. Was the D of Pete. It was Green my, Street. Green Street, but that was way yeah, downtown. Yeah. That was I felt way. Like that was his D. That was like Jamie Stobb. I used to read the right credits. It was it, in my house. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. I, I, I came in right after that, and then Mugs <laughs> told me the whole story. I used to always see Jamie Stobb on the credits. Oh, uh, I'm about to say, yeah. your mom's no, no, story. <laughs> man, you missed it, man. Oh, he don't make that strip, but man. Oh, he don't make that strip. 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 He don't make but regardless, you know, yeah. it was a great time and great that time. place was my home and that's where I So did. who was it? It was me, pun, and common. Yeah, you you pun. Me, and pun, and common. Yeah, what a came. combination. That's an ill. Yeah. And, and me and pun got real tight. You know what I mean? No, listen, Pete, let me just tell you something. We were so honored to come that night. We had a ball. We then ordered the album turns out. You said yeah, you ordered yeah, what? You, know. you ordered pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. It was, crazy. It was Green Street Studios. Yeah, I could never yeah, forget yeah, it because, yeah, yeah. you know, Pete showed me. And I remember I had the Cartier frames yeah, on at sir. that time, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, and I also did. and I also had a very important <laughs> sweater on that I bought from Miami. <laughs> it was called, because um, this was the guy who designed Iceberg, but then he right. went and did his own thing. And I forgot what it was called. But it was some fly shit, and I bought it from Bell Harbor, and I only wore it to Pete Rock Studio. God damn it, make some noise. Special shit right there. Special shit. So hey. now, yeah. you guys, you work with Nas. Mm-hmm. You, worked with you worked with Jay. You worked with Jay. Have you ever worked with Big? You never worked with Big. Um, he been to my crib. He been to the crib. He was picking my interlude beats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know. And then, you know, he heard the idea of Juicy in my basement. You know, mm. Papa came with me. Wow. Papa was the one that brought Big to the to my house. You know, we all from Mount Vernon. Because y'all both from Mount Vernon. Yeah, yeah we all right. from Mount Vernon. Right. Puff is from Dell Avenue. You mm. know what I'm saying? And Mount Vernon. Right. And brought Big to the crib. Mm. And he was just like, yo. Big was like, yo, I just want to see how you make a beat. 
<laughs> and then I made this beat called, um, that's a song called In the Flesh on the Main Ingredient. Mm. And I made that. Mm. Wow. He, he wanted it, right. you know, but it didn't happen somehow. But right. we ended up using it for an album. But he was there and saw the process. But, but now describe that because now, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Puff is from Mount Vernon, yeah. so you look at him like a yeah. pair. Yeah. But now, do, do, you, do you realize that this guy that he just brung to your studio is the most legendary person in the world? I already knew. You knew? You knew? The knew. aura was there? Yeah, because I, I, I think Puff came on the show and he Who's described behind? Big as disruptive. Yeah. Like his look was disruptive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get that feeling when I, you see I him? I didn't even pay attention to that. I was, right. a skip, I was about to scale. The lyrics. Wow. Yeah, that homie could rap. The flow. Right. I got the beat match uh, you know what uh, I mean let's get uh, something popping so, uh, but he heard the idea of Juicy uh, and just you know I didn't actually do the actual original I did ended up doing the remix mm, and that was the only thing I mean Big had done but mm, you know if you know he did pick beats and right. you know we just didn't get a chance to uh, right. do it yeah he knew what he wanted to rap to yeah man now, he was now, picking up now yeah. you Primo um, how did you first meet Big I met Big um when we moved back to Brooklyn for Green, we were living with Branford. Uh, we lived in a lot of rough places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we moved around a lot. This Fort one, Green, this was his way. When, when, Branford, when Branford finally officially moved out and went to California, we turned this place into a frat house, party house. <laughs> Rizzo was there, the Jizzle and, was there. And where is that again? Uh, Washington between Lafayette and Green. And then we took this Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. Okay, good. It's old school Brooklyn. Yeah, old not school. gentrified. Brooklyn. No, not yeah, gentrified. Not yeah, gentrified. Yeah. Not so that you can get killed. The weed spots, coming outside. spots, every other store. <laughs> but let's be clear, you can get shot coming outside. Oh, no question. Okay. 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 He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That this a, is you get shot. That was a shoot 'em up corner. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and, and this is not. This is not. This is not. Um. The vegans. No way, no. This is this is pre-hipster, pre-hipster Brooklyn. This is old English print. I just want to describe it. Let's continue. This is when Biggie wore the, the, the same <laughs> green. <laughs> this is when <laughs> the Biggie, the Biggie wore the same green army jacket, mm -hmm. and the sleeves were about right to here. Yeah. So you know, no wrist action showing. <laughs> so but, but, but he wore it all the time. Mm -hmm. I knew Nino, Chico, C's, Kim. But they bring you this guy. No, Mr. I got to give Mr. C the credit. Mr. He C, was, big him up. But he's from the beginning with yo, Big. He, uh, yeah, he was right. annoying me like, yo. <laughs> and he wasn't Notorious B.I.G. yet. He was Biggie Smalls. And, right. and every time, somebody else had Biggie Smalls, so that he just had to change yeah, his name. But um, I used to do a lot of shows with Kane, and there was times that I, my, I couldn't, uh, my turntables got damaged. But back then, you carried yes. your equipment on yes. tour. And all your and, records. Uh, right. And my, all your my records. equipment was messed up. That's why EFN will DJ right now. Because <laughs> he, he wanted he want to still bring his equipment. There you go. <laughs> he got to relax. And, 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 and Mr. C let me borrow his turntables right before Kane took the stage so the mm -hmm. gang could perform all so right. well, again he lived right down the block from all the weed spots that we knew and right. so you gotta go by Mr. C house and then the dope weed spots are right there right. The, the the new ones the one is like oh no no that one's dead now <laughs> go to this one yeah. right. and so North the, Stratum Gates the, 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 the nice Franklin Ave area Ma, so then uh, during that time Mr. C used to call me and go, Preem, Biggie Smalls, Biggie Smalls. I'm like, C, I'm going to listen to it. Like, just give me some time. <laughs> Weeks pass. Yo, Preem, Biggie Smalls. That's why I'm like, yo, C. Before like, unsigned hype. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Just, wow. just Biggie Smalls, Biggie Smalls. Biggie. I'm like, dude, I'm going to listen to it. Because we were pretty busy at that time yeah, already. Right. One day I listened to it, liked it, liked the demos that I heard. And then I met Big on the corner. I was going to the corner store, me, Guru, Big Shug, Dap. And Dab was in love with Lil Kim, and Lil Kim was like, "Get away from me, Dab!" Cause they like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, 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 I'm Lil Dab, Lil Dab, Lil Dab, Lil Bunny, New York, baby, what's up?" And that's Dab to this very day. Shout out to Dab, group home, yeah, that's family. Melika, Melika got locked up for many homes. Welcome home, Melika. You know, we all connect. Me, J. Ru, all of us are still good. So, so then. Big was like, yo, C, C told you, he told me he's been stressing you. I was like, yeah, I finally heard it. I, I said, we got to get something in. Right. And then he goes, yo, Puff is in. This is what he said, Puff is interested in signing me. So this is how far back before we go. Before the deal. Yeah. This is 92. This is 92. Okay. Yeah, he said, Puff is interested in signing me. I said, dude, go with him. Yeah, I said, Puff, Puff not only has money, he got a vision. I right. said, he, he going to blow you up. He said, well, I don't know, man. You know, I want to keep his hood. I'm like, yo. He, he's the one to go with, go with Puff. Wow. You know, and then boom, next thing you know, Puff started coming around. And actually, I, I tell people this, Puff was the so first one. I'm sorry, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I
remember the estate. Yeah. But so, what was the first record you actually worked on with Big? Uh, unbelievable. Oh wow. Unbelievable. Wow. This is actually what trickled Biggie down. Smalls is the yeah. This is what trickled down. That was a single. Into, that was yeah, a single. that trickled down into why I, I gave Jay Z and them the price, a lower price for uh, Reasonable Doubt because right. when we did Unbelievable, uh, the 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 the, uh, the budget had run out for Big, and I told Big I don't have time to make a beat, and he goes, Yo, I got five thousand dollars. I was like, Yeah. Uh, thousands, <laughs> you know, and, but we were already cool with each other. Right. But I, I felt weird telling them no. But I really right. didn't have the time, and I'm a person. Then Pete will tell you this: I make the beat on the spot. On yes, the spot, yeah. yes, and and now that's something that people don't realize. I don't have like 20 beats and go, yo, pick one. Like right. take, take number six and number four, number yeah, so you seven. You make it right. for that's the person. Me. That's yeah. a real yeah. Yeah. You, cater the the you cater the beat. You cater the beat. Like yeah. Gamble and Huff. Yeah. They said that yeah. that's what they do. They yeah, they make it to the artist. So. I didn't have nothing for Big that was dope. You know, a lot of people are like, no, come on, man. I know you got something. It's like, I don't. I really don't. Right. I, you come here, we can make it. Big old, I don't care if you taking Pizza President and just some <laughs> funny stab sounds. You know, he, he knew the, the slang. Right, he right. Him, yeah, And you know what stab, stabs is it. what we say in yeah. production, yeah. In, in the production era. So uh, he said, I don't care if it's just some stabs. I said, oh, word. So come on up tonight then. Mm, That's what happened. He mm. comes up. I said, I'll take the 5000 I said, but if you get a deal and you go platinum, I want $35,000 per track. Wow. We did the song. After, after him going platinum. Like, yeah. That's and, when the money and we, we, we did the too. song. Wow, yeah. you're yeah. back in <laughs> negotiations. It's crazy. And yeah, this 95. Right. Right. Here's 95. He comes in. We do the song. It becomes the B-side of Juicy. So it was, was like my, the street single so for Juicy. It was yeah. my first gold single, so I was right. like, wow. Yeah. As soon as he got the deal to up the money, I remember he goes, yo, I got the check for you. You said 35, right? He said, I got, I got two of them. And mm. he brought me the check, and Puffy gave me the check, and I was like, wow, he kept his word. Oh, wow. so this wasn't on paper? It was a word? It was like handshake shit? Yeah. yeah. Let's make some noise for Big. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. You learned so much hip hop history that's that's right now. And man, getting thirty grand back, thirty five back then. No, that's yeah. a big, that's yeah. triple. That's ninety thousand. Yeah. So, so, so now let me ask you because Oops. you, um, your reputation is like the, the most hip hopist of hip hopists. Now, right. now Janet Jackson, you, you work with Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. You work with Christina. Um, Million. Um, no, 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 I'm Aguilera. 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 You work? Did you work with Britney Spears as well? No, just, no. Just okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just so which is, that now, shit is crazy. As a hip hop producer, mm. you get this call. What What is your first thing to say for Christina? Yeah, like because you know well, that wasn't it her dude that put know. put her oh, on. Yeah, her ex husband Jordy had put her on some of my stuff, but she liked it. Right. So she called me and goes, yo, I just heard the group home album. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, that's it. Stop, stop, hold on, hold on. Yes. Wait, wait, what? Yes. Christina oh, yeah. 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 called you and said she just oh, heard wow. group home album? I met her at the Chateau Mama down the hill on Sunset. You kind of front of us. That was you fly. That was fly. That's what my mom. Chateau Mama. That might as well be in Germany. That's just crazy. Chateau Mama is with a lot of wig, big wigs, lamp. And yeah. drink and, and I definitely ain't getting enough money because yes. I don't, I've so, never even heard of so that. So it's Go right ahead. down the hill. It's right yeah. before Tower, like right after you pass Tower Records or mm. the, the, the big Tower Records, right in that right. area. And uh, it's got a big neon sign that shot to my mom with bushes, so you can't really see the, the spot. And she said, "My Rolls Royce is outside. I saw the white the white oh, Phantom. Shit. I said she's here." We oh, walk wow. in, she's sitting there with Jordy. She goes, yo, I love Group Home. And I was like, wow. That's random, Christina though. Angela. To her yes. to just okay. pinpoint Continue. Group Home is yeah, crazy. One of the grimiest albums I've ever right. done. Yeah. That's the sickest. <laughs> and she it's liked, crazy. She liked, really all the, she liked the jazz samples I used on some of the gangster uh, right. So she liked uh, she liked uh, jazz things. She liked work. She liked, uh, yeah, she liked, she liked, she liked work. She liked, you know, my Steve's. Even mm. though that was yeah. my soul. Mm -hmm. But the song she was naming with joints like, wow, yeah, if that attracted you to want to work with me, let's go in. Yeah. Right. And then we ended up, uh, we were supposed to do one record, which was called, called Back in the Day. 
Next thing you know, she was like, yo, stay here a couple more weeks. And we just started banging out and turned it into five records. And then that was the first Grammy I ever got for a single. Whereas, wow. you know, not for the for being on the album. I got a Grammy for D'Angelo being, working on the album and for Jay-Z on Hard Knock Life. Right. But to get one for the single is singles out all the other songs on the album. It's like mm. for that one song, right. you got a Grammy. So that was a big monumental and part was, of my career. It was dope. That's it was beautiful, dope. man. It's yeah. beautiful. Make some noise for that, yeah. goddamn it. Okay. Now, who was it that you said you'll work with them, but you want to see them write the rhyme in their face? Mm. It was somebody. I forget. I'll work with them, but I want to see them write the rhyme? Write the rhyme. I think it was like a Justin Bieber. Or... Oh, okay. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. The Cypher. Which I've been doing. Oh, it was the cypher, yeah. yeah, for BET. We didn't know the cypher for BET Hip Hop Awards was going to even get this big. All right. It was an idea. It's shout, to Jesse, thing now. shout to Jesse yeah. Collins. And congratulations to Jesse Collins mm. for uh, doing real well with the new edition uh, story. That was his yeah, idea. That was dope. And it blew up. It did yeah. really, really dope. well. Did big numbers. And Jesse's a good friend of mine. Yeah. We argue and fight a lot over no, it's wrong if you do it this way. No, it's right if you do it this way. Right. We fight a lot, but he's such a good friend that we always find a compromise. When right. he brought up the idea of doing the cypher, it was a one-time thing. Right. It was Papoose, Styles P, Remy, um, yeah. uh, who else was in it? Um, uh, Rhyme Fest, and, and then there was a second one. And those two, I couldn't make it because I was on tour. So I had DJ Scratch fill in for me. Mm -hmm. I just gave him the beat mm -hmm. and said, let's keep it break beats mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. You know, because something now that's elevated. People mm -hmm. like, yo, man, I need something to turn up to. It's like, no, this is the pure form of how we do it. We're keeping the break beats. So are you a producer so on that pick specific the beat. thing? I, I pick the beat. I loop it. I'll do maybe four. James Brown loop. Uh, a break beat from Ultimate Breaks Beats, whatever. And I'll send those, and whatever one Jesse's like, yo, I like this one, we'll clear it with, with, with whoever owns right. it, and then we'll send it to all the artists, and we tell them 16 bars and quit. quit and that's Everybody's it. got 90 bars, every, and it's like uh, they never follow the rules. Yes. Then they get mad, like, yo, they edited my stuff. It's like, no, yeah. we told you 16 and quit. <laughs> right. And again, it was one time only. Second year comes around of the cipher, they're like, we, we want to do it again. Now they, they got three ciphers. Then that turned into four ciphers a year after that. Now it's starting to get ciphers where they're starting to put a lot of artists that I'm like, nah, nah, they can't rhyme. Don't put them in there. And it's going into that stage of it where right. now it's like, well, they're popular. They're no more known than the skilled MCs. I'm like, yeah, but if you're taking away the skill, that, that causes problems with the authenticity and that's where I have a problem because I want to stay authentic right yeah but all the fans love them and they're on TV and they're on every video and these other guys nobody's paying attention to them I'm like well you know what they're gonna pay attention to them when they see how dope they speak right. these beats so we always have that fight right. one year they say yo what do you think of Justin Bieber spitting on a cypher I said I'm oh, cool shit. with it as long as he <laughs> writes the rhyme and if it's a dope rhyme let's do it let's right. go he said, what if somebody else writes it? I said, no, I ain't with it. That was it. That Go was ahead, it. Primo. It, blew, it blew into Go ahead, Primo. It blew out of the water with, Go ahead, with, Primo. with, with, with rumors being saying that, that I mentioned this person, this person. No. It was just that simple. If he's going to do it, let him spit. Yeah. And, and so next thing you know, it's like let a him big, write that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, it turns into a whole campaign of showing him spitting verses on radio stations and all that. And I'm like, yo, I will work with Justin Bieber as long as it's authentic. Right. Let's rock. I don't care if it's Justin Bieber. I don't care if it's Mary Poppins. Right. If it's authentic, let's rock. That's the right. But how important is that it's for you guys? Important. It's very important. So I had no it's, problem with that with this, Justin. I was like, yes, right, let's yeah. do it. But just you wanted him to write yeah. it in front of you. Yeah, and they didn't say that he wasn't gonna write. It. They said, what if he doesn't? I'm like, then no. Just then all of a sudden, this, yeah. it shows on the blog. DJ Premier bans Justin Bieber. It's like, who, how can I, I ban nobody? Because if it was my cyphers, you're going to see Kane there, right. Remy Mel there, <laughs> Rakim yeah. there, uh, DITC doing a whole cypher with AG and Diamond and, and, yeah. and, and OC and all of them. It's going to be people like that, you know? Right. Yeah. Crazy. Good. You see when the Shady cypher, <laughs> it was Eminem. Yep. And, you know, people with skills. Yeah, Eminem, right. Royce, Joe Budden. Uh, uh, crooked eye skills. Now, how important is that for you, for you guys? You mm -hmm. guys have the integrity. You guys are mm -hmm. top of the line of producers. When it, when we speak in real, real, real hip hop, mm -hmm. you guys' name has to be brought up. Now, is the, is is it ever a time where you sit back and say, you know, 
I'm gonna do it for the money this time. Or you say, I'm gonna always stay who I am. Always stay who I am. Stay who you are. And I've been tempted. <laughs> I've been tempted. Like, damn, that much? We, hard, we, we, we all Good example. Yeah. Lem Biscuit. But right. you Lem know, biscuit. it's in our hearts to yeah. be passionate about loving what we do. Yeah. And we do mm. it for the love. So, yeah. you know, it's just like, it's just. That's who we are. Mm-hmm. Staying authentic. Lim, Lim Biscuit, the money comes, yeah. we say. Limp Biscuit was a good example. Tell us that. Because when my manager kept pressing me to do it, uh, Patrick Moxie at the time, I was like, nah, because I said Fred Durst can't rap to in my eyes on the level of what right. uh, people... I don't want my fans going, damn, Preem, you work with him. And right. and I like Limp Biscuit for what they do, but if you're going to get with me... You it's not what you your do. Your pen has right. to get a lot more ink. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's the bottom line. Yeah. They go, well, Method Man is on the song. I said, oh, word? <laughs> I said, then send me the rough. They sent me the rough, and Meth was on it. Mm. I was like, then, okay, then I'll do it. Right. And it was a big check, a huge mm. check. Huge, right. One of the biggest checks I've ever gotten. Wow. Yeah. So Damn. the good thing I liked about Fred Durst was he called me and said, I need to talk to Preem. And he was just becoming one of the, the new executives at Interscope with Jimmy Iovine. And he said, yo, man, this is recently? He, 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 when, 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 no, 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 back when, when they oh, were back really okay. popping and, okay. and, and we were doing the But he had respect for what you, what yeah. you do. And we had a dope conversation, and it was to the point, he said, the best you can get out of me, I'll, I'll do it. He came to D&D. And so we, he, man, tried. He, yeah. tried. Yes. he tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. By himself. By God himself with nobody. No bodyguard, no nothing. <laughs> and they were big at the time. This is their sec- second album. And he was like, yo. Get the best you can get out of me. I don't care if you don't like it, whatever. I'll do it. And he, that was the best I could get mm. for what's on the song. Right. Mm. But the fact that he put the effort in, I like the fact he put in the effort and he, and he knocked it out. Next thing you know, he said, yo, we're doing a video. He flew us out. We had a big video yeah, shoot. We yeah, had a good time. And it was just a, just a really, really fun session. And then me and, me and Fred were cool after that. Yeah. Yo, before, the thing is, is that you guys mentioned Dwick and we didn't go back to Dwick. Let's uh, go back to Dwick. Troy is one of the biggest hit. Hip hop records will ever. never be, and Dwick matched. is one of the biggest hip hop records yeah, it ever. Is. It is. So we need to you hear. You turn that record yeah. off, and they'll just. Sing we need to song. hear the story of Dwick. Dwick's yeah. the only reason why Dwick happened because, because that's all of our summer anthems, right. by the way. Yeah. Like, like we all. That's nice and smooth did a song called "On the End." It ain't a damn thing changed called "Down the Line." Right. It was with a whole bunch of MCs. Bass Blaster, big up to him. A whole bunch of other MCs. You said Bass Blaster. Yeah. From Connecticut, yeah. including uh, shout to Ray Pouncey and uh, Ray Pouncey and um, and then uh, Guru's also on it. He said I want to loop the manifest beat and mm. do my own version because a lot of people don't know most of the nicest move hits. Greg Nice does all the beats. Mm. Yeah. Wow, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. I've seen him do it. He he's for all that stuff. Hip hop junkies. Every every. every oh, hip hop junkies. All that kicking wicked rhymes like a fortune teller. Had a dog with a known as old yeah. yeah. He did all that stuff. Yeah. Get the fuck Greg Knight. Yeah. Fiendish plot. Yeah. Scheme that be for me to make a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, we bad hip hop right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 All that stuff. Did Z Gillespie plays a sax? I know he doesn't play a sax. Right. I remember Brad from myself said, he don't play no fucking sax. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But it worked. Me and right. myself, I love to max. You know? right. uh. He did all those beats. So Ooh, Greg wow. Nice is a dope beat maker. Wow. Yeah, so, That's why. I, I mean, I used to have so conversations he, with so him. So he took the manifest instrumental, made a beat, mm. and all we were doing was, because we used to hang tough. It was nice and smooth, gangstar, right. riding a D train. We go to the castle, which was grimy in the Bronx, mm. and this was when they had to shoot out with Slick Rick, all that stuff. Right. Like we were around all that stuff. Damn. Boom! Next thing you know, uh, we we said, "Well, let's return the favor and do a record for right. us." So that's all it was. Just right. y'all do one for us. We're gonna do one for you. Right. Right. Now swap. we're doing one on there. That's why it was a B side, and it wasn't on the album. I remember people were like, "Oh yeah, y'all left it off the album." It's like, nah, the album was already done. We're just doing it for fun. Right. We wasn't doing really? like, and that yeah, became a fuck. huge, such a and huge. And we didn't know it was gonna be a huge hit. Right now, we didn't know it was gonna be a huge hit. We're just boom, doing boom. it in return. I didn't know it was just for fun. I remember Dub, yo, yo, yo uh, you'd be surprised shout, how records happen. <laughs> yeah. I know. Shout to Dub C, 
he was there. Aren't you related to, to somebody on the West like that? No, we're just no? good friends. We're just good friends. But you did an album MC8 recently. Yeah, that, that's coming out on uh, uh, MC8. All right, not album. to tie his track. Yeah. Let's go back shout, to, shout to, to MC8. But shout out to MC8 yeah. for yeah. Compton's Most Wanted. Woo. I mean, he did two of the yeah. illest uh, theme records for Boys in the Hood. He did Growing yeah. Up in the Hood. No, no, MC8. And he did uh, Straight He's on Up my album, everybody, another time. Society. So, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah we have an album. We have an album. We have one hit. We have one hit. We have Which Way is West. On camera. That's coming soon. And also the NYC. Yo, bad me to evil. He produced the evil. He produced the evil. And we wanted the connoisseurs of weed, so you know, yeah, yeah. people know. Uh, and, and then uh, 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 shout to Tori Wolf, and also shout to Miguel, who we have a single out right now called "To Loving You." Yeah. Now, uh, what happened was, where were we? Where were we? Dwick. Uh, Dwick. So Dub C was there. Wow, and that's Don, and Don Barron from the Masters of Sarah. Oh. Say yeah. word. Yeah, because oh, he was damn. good friends with Greg Knight. Question though. Yeah. How did the horny version happen to Dwick? I was just doing that, just bugging out. And is it the we, horny version? Yeah, yeah the horny a, version. It's the horny version. But the and the vocal version had a glitch. You remember you, when you go to Dak? Yeah. The dad would go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. couldn't get, <laughs> yeah. we couldn't get the glitch out. <laughs> so when we bounced it to, to we Dad, stay quiet. Let them talk. Yeah, we yeah. bounced it to Dad and had to. The, you remember how Dad used to glitch? Yes. And they go. <laughs> We couldn't. I was like, we can't put it out like that. So what that. you do? Slow it down. I, that's why I just put the instrumental on there, on the B side that of the twelve inch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. The glitch. Damn. Wow. That, oh. that was perfect. Exactly. For me. Come on. Come on. But yeah. when did y'all know you had something with Dwick? Like I mean, immediately uh, that, when that shit came out. When we finished it, it was crazy because, like I said, Dub C is from the West Coast. Wearing Scully's all in the heat of it. West Side summer. Connection and, and house Crypt shoes. Out. And West Side. Uh, yeah, Crypt yeah. Out. Crypt Out. And, and, and khakis and, and Pendleton's all hot. And I'm just like, yo, you ain't hot and all that stuff. It's like, cuz, this is how it is in the West Coast. Right. And that's how I learned about the West Coast. And this is 1989. Uh, Master wow. Ace had just joined our, our, our Empire. And Master Man Ace was heavy team. doing the, the, yeah, the car so show stuff on the West. I, I knew Suge Knight already back then. Right. He was 89. Suge Knight he was, was Bobby Brown. Suge Knight was, uh, uh, he was, and he was, he was hanging with, with Elias over the balcony. Oh, yeah, DLC. DLC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, manager. DLC yeah. manager. So I was there with JJ Fad, the, the NWA, all that stuff. Me and Easy E came to the first Gangstar release party in 1989. Wow. Did you post a picture or something? Yeah, I posted a picture. Down with the king. Down with the king. Yeah. So rest in peace to Easy. Love Down with the king. So uh, we met them back in '89. So killed it. You, killed you know, it. but for yes, Dub C to be there back then, that shows you we go to and rest in peace with his brother who passed on January 9th. Uh, Ice Cube's DJ, Mark. Crazy Mark. Tunes. That's yeah, Dub C. Oh brother. yeah, rest in peace. Rest yeah, in peace, man. Crazy yeah, Tunes. We, we sent them off right. We had an incredible uh, home going service. In Mad LA. people showed up. I it saw y'all. Family pictures, man. reunion, yeah. man. Seeing all these West Coast artists from King T, and then seeing you know Chuck D and LL there and everybody and and you know just every. Artists the hip hop family, wow. yeah, yeah, it was so packed, and and, and it was, they just did it right, you know what I'm saying? Playing wow. dope music in the church, playing flashlight, and doing a whole collage of all the people he's been around on on a video screen, wow. and 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 then even when they did the everybody's Not got a, a little, little light, light. Oh. on the side, and it shows tunes throwing up the W, looking up to the sky oh. with 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 clouds that's and crazy. wings and all that that's stuff, crazy. and I was like, yo, that's man, that's yeah, you, you see, Norris trying to get yeah, down, yeah, yeah. he would be smoking he's on the, the devil, he's watching. He's like, yeah, this one. See, when you hit 50, you're very smart about how you do things uh, on, on TV. I got you. Nah, that's yeah, okay. <laughs> Listen, we, um, we, we are with two of the best producers of all time. The, the best, in my opinion. The best. Yeah. And um, I'm going to celebrate you guys' life. Hey, man, we're celebrating I'm going to continue. Well. I, I can't believe. Like, I, I continue. I got to come back and Absolutely. look at this plaque. Absolutely. Because it's 25 million. It's but you know what the crazy man. shit is? Okay. Is this guy is a vinyl guy. He's a real hip-hop person. Mm. I am a hip-hop person. So for us to come together and want to commemorate hip-hop, yeah. just salute hip-hop. Yes. 
And for it to get 25 million well, Shout out to Revolt, man, yeah, for man. picking it up. Shout out to Revolt. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, lady. Yeah. Big up CBS. Yeah. CBS. Yeah. CBS. 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 CBS was first. Revolt. Yeah. CBS was first. But Revolt's been fucking with us. And Revolt's And the Coming Home series. And Coming Home. We got this premiere coming in LA. March 23rd. It's crazy because. March 23rd. Oh, I thought. When you go, you go to LA, you got a premiere. Let's pick up your premiere. Um, no, no, I'm doing a screening. A uh, uh, screening. At the LA Film School. Tell them. March 9th. March 9th. But okay. March 23rd on Revolt airs is the premiere of <coughs> Coming Home Vietnam. I'm, I'm going to different countries and exploring hip hop. Wow. That's in big different countries. Dope. Yeah. That's big the, 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 the dope thing is, I've been watching Drink, drink Champs for mm. a minute. Come on, take this light. Since it started, you don't feel like there you're you lighting it up. All right, cool. I, I've been checking <laughs> out Drink Champs for a minute. <laughs> and uh, mm. it's just ill how. Mm. How uh, the two of y'all are from really different, totally different, different. directions. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've known Nori from the streets. Like yeah. he's right. been street for so long, yeah. right. Right. too long. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I've seen him elevate from yeah. the street level of rhyming mm. to the sharper version of writing rhymes. Right. Mm. Even when you and Bumpy had your mm-hmm. drama, and then mm. we end up doing a record together. Mm. And me and Bumby together. Yeah, and even when that happened, right. it wasn't even a diss. He was just like, "Yo, I'm a fan of Nori. Yeah, he did I tell want me. him to elevate his rhymes because right. I'm a fan. Yeah, and, he and, told and, me and that. where everybody knows Bumpy Freddie Fox is being a Freddy boy, that's boy my nigga. where he is more into. There's certain people he's attracted to for what they represent, and he right. loves Nori right. as, yeah. as a, and more than just an MC, as a right. person. Right, he's yeah. a big, big yeah. fan of you as a person. I big him up. Um, yeah, and, I big him up because he, he pushed me. He, he 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 told me from the beginning, like if he had uh, mentioned my name on the record, he told me like, nah, I just I don't want you to say what. But I, like, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it 100. <laughs> percent When I recorded Super Thug, right? That's how I used to count bars. Really? I used to say, what, 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 two, what, 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 three. Because I'm from the resource room. You know what I'm saying? I'm a special education child. Now you can pass it. So I told, I told Pharrell, I said, they're going to laugh at me. Wow. He said, that's the hook. But he was a genius too. Oh, yeah. He was for a real, genius real, too guy. because for all real, he did it. was take out the ones. <laughs> yeah. Like when I said, yeah. what, 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 so what, he what, muted one. It? It, all he did was mute it. Wow. And then, so that, I got to give it to Can Pharrell. You Can you <laughs> yeah, he muted that. So now when you listen to it, you hear and you say, what, 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 Yo. what, 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 you don't even gotta go to the verse. Yeah. That tears the club up. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, this is the, the, the most important part. Yeah. And, and and what I was trying to say was wow, man. when I did it, I felt what Bumpy felt. Wow. That's why I never mm. took it personal. Mm. Because I felt I, I told Pharrell, I said, wow. Pharrell. That's all we need is a hook. I said, all we need is a because I'm you know wow. from the research room. So, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I said, all we different. need is a hook. And he said, relax. <laughs> he didn't say relax, but in my mind. Yeah, he said relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, so, for real back said, then. for real yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I will never forget it. We were in right track recording studios. Right His track. chain was choking him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he had a tight chain on. <laughs> I told him. He had a choker? I said, I, I, like, I, you got to release. Because yeah. <laughs> it was just so tight on this nigga. I love him, though. I love him. He knows I love him. That's for real, I, man. That's I, yo, for real. That's for real. That's for real. What up, for real? I don't got no fucking Pharrell kicks. I'm fucking very upset. But I love you, Pharrell. And me and Mr. Lee need kicks. um, (laughs) So I remember, I go upstairs. I went upstairs. You remember right track? You remember right track? Yeah, of course. So I went upstairs, and I said, all we need is the hook, and we good. He said, we got the hook already. And I looked at him, I was like, because I had previously did that on every other record before that. Wow. You got mad what no one produces. Records. But yo, the first time I ever heard you do do, do uh, uh-huh. T-O-N-Y, mm-hmm. and, and, and just the whole wah, 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 wah. It yeah. was, it's like, that's your stamp. That's your yeah, stamp. Like, no one yeah. else owns that. You're that's, our owner. But yeah. that's the reason yeah. why if I got to give it. If anybody else does it, it's I not gotta right. I got to give it they to Pharrell. Right. Because he was the nigga, like, I did that as bar. Because remember, back wow. then, you got to remember, back then, we couldn't punch in. Mm. So go I recorded the, the no whole to... record in one take. <laughs> the whole record. And it was wild to punch in even yeah. if you didn't. It back was wild to punch in. No, punch in. no, no punch in there. Yeah, we mad. Let's make some noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we
crowd. But listen, I'm so, a, I'll be 51 March 21st. Oh, God damn it. Make some noise. And you look at 21, God damn it, bro. So, Bree, so I did this shit. I, that's how I, I always recorded my records was all the way through. Cause wow. remember we had the eight in, inch rails uh, back then. Two inch rail. Yeah, uh, two inch rail. My bad. Yeah. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Relax. I gotta relax. We, we, we I gotta relax. Authentic. authentic. <laughs> Whatever so, you think it was, it was. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trained to just lay everything all together. Yeah. So I came out, and then he had the girl come in, and the, and the girl was saying, um, Which is not Kellis, because everybody thought it was Kellis. Everybody thinks it's Kellis. <laughs> it's not Kellis on what what? Everybody thought it was Kellis. No, too. it's not Kellis. Yeah, I thought it was. I forget She's this. What, what? No. no. She was around during that time. Yeah, 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 but everybody thought Who that. Who is it? I, I, I'm so sorry that I forget Damn, this dog, woman. Damn, dog, you don't remember her. Tammy. It's Tammy. It's Tammy. definitely a Tammy. Sounds like you made up that name. Sounds like you made up that name. That was an era. Something like that, right? That was an yeah, era of time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That was an era of time that, that we were all cool with Khalees. But look, so, but look, and, you know, so I so come back out and I say, yo, for real, all we need is a hook and we done. And he said, we got the hook. And I said, where is it at? And then he played it. What? 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 No, oh. I was like, they're going to laugh at no, me. No one so when Freddie Fox nah. came at me, he was like, I don't want to hit a what, what, what. what? But he didn't know right that wasn't me. It, it literally wasn't me. So I was hey. literally mad. Mona, what's going on? Big up to Mona. What up, God Mona? Damn it, the owner of Drink Chance, God damn it. Oh, the owner? Oh, damn near the owner. In my yeah. mind, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout out to damn near the owner. Damn near. <laughs> damn near. <laughs> so now, listen. You guys see hip hop. You worked with Guru. Rest, in peace, brother, Guru rest in peace, Guru. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. You worked yes. with CL Smooth. Mm-hmm. Heavy now, D. Heavy right, D. Rest in peace, I'm, Heavy I'm, D. I'm, I'm going there. So now, what makes y'all say, I'm going to work with people outside of. Because hip-hop? the thing about hip hop back then was one producer did the whole album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanna, I'm, I'm working on going back to that. Yeah. One yeah. producer did the whole album. Now, you got you got you got Illmatic where it's Pete Rock, Premier, Q Tip, Q-tip, Large Professor, mm-hmm. L.E.S. Uh huh. <laughs> then you go into uh, at the big. Big. Easy Mo B. Big. Easy, Easy Mo B. Lord Finesse. Yes. Pac Easy, as well. Uh, Lord uh, Finesse. Yeah. Lord LP. Finesse. Yeah. Lord Finesse. Uh, Lord Finesse. Uh, uh, so. What makes y'all? What makes y'all say I'm gonna work with people outside of my group? Because we're not just we're just not in a hip hop box. Mm. We're in a music box, mm. and a music box has all styles that we appreciate based on the cloth we're cut from mm. of, of pioneers that opened the door. And what Earth, Wind, and Fire, James yeah. Brown, yep. mm. uh, Bootsy, mm. the, the whole Parliament Funkadelic Bootsy movement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just on any of that from Parlette. Brides of Fungus Sign, anything yep. Bootsy, anything yep. Parliament, anything yep. George Clinton. Anything. Mm. That's an era after James Brown that's so funky. The I funk, mean, man. you know, the, like like that. that's a funk. That, that You know, funk, like he says, funk not only moves, it can remove. Mm. We come from that. You know, mm. so Aretha Franklin, Natalie Cole, Gladys Knight and the Pips, mm. Curtis Mayfield, all that stuff, mm. the Mac, all that stuff. That's my childhood. Right. Right. I don't know nothing about no hip-hop to hippie, hippie. I'm on that. I'm seeing mm. my mom playing Back to the and World. All Diana Ross. And, yeah, Diana Ross. Mm. Anything Motown. Tamla, Gordy, mm. Soul Records, any of that stuff. I'm good. My, my I'm, mom. I'm going to try to get you hit one more time. <laughs> this drink champs, goddammit. I'm on camera. Devil Emoji. Yeah. Yeah. Devil Emoji. Yeah. He want to make a smoke change. Nah, he, he, he Rastafari. He Rastafari. His Rastafari He's roots. Rastafari. But, His Rastafari but, roots are saying, why, why? But, but my childhood <laughs> is platform shoes. Mm. Afros is big. Afro Sheen commercials with Johnson Johnson oh, products. Shit. Mm. Um, good times. The Jeffersons, All no. in the Family. You know the monsters. That's my mama. The monsters. Dang. That's my, yeah, yeah. Y'all remember? That's my yeah. mama. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm gonna throw I'm, something in the air. What's happening? That's my my era. All what? the all if I say USA, all, all my the era rock too. and stuff. All that. <laughs> you know all that. Yeah. Roller skating. Rerun. Rerun. Mm-hmm. That's what I know. This, what, is, this is no rapping and scratching yet. What is Pete Rock's favorite studio session? 
my out favorite. Out of all studio. these years. My favorite studio session that yeah. I've ever had? Ever had. <clears throat> Would probably have to been with Run DMC. Wow, it had to down be. with the king! Oh shit! Down with the king! Oh, oh. down with the light! Oh. That's how Run powerful DMC. that shit was. That's how that shit was. The lights get down. You know what's crazy? That's the owner of this club, and he knocked the light, and we got the light. Big up, Raul. That was not Raul. That was not Raul. Hill, yo. We were on a Gangstar tour last day, and Ryan Run called us and said, hurry up and get here. We're we almost done. We did 25 done. million streams. Why was I like, and we, out. And we did it's not good. And we did not make it back in time. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, and they said, he's he there. Y'all would have been perfect to Naughty by nature. We were just yeah, there. They, like, they was all there. They was all there. And we, the we came over to where y'all was, and everybody was gone. Damn. You know I gave CBS this idea, though. Come on, bro. I gave him that idea. You gotta relax. Uh, no, you gotta relax. <laughs> you gotta relax. <laughs> I gave him. I said we need a streaming plaque. <laughs> no, we we said it on the podcast, buddy. We did say it. Said podcast. Okay, I gotta relax. Yeah, I gotta go I'm with your friend. I gotta go with your Why? He feels more sober than me. Yeah. Not even the sober. Than me. He, he, I don't know if it's a DJ thing. And yes, you can, yes. You can do <laughs> about this. We have a memory. Yo, Jay Z. Oh, you gotta relax. Jay Z saw me one day. Jay Z said, "Yo, I'm gonna call you Memory Man. Yeah. You remember every show. Sure I'll be seeing Jay Z, and he'll he'll go." What you remember this time? I'll say. I remember we were in uh, in pa- we were in Paris. Uh-huh. We flew, I had a show like two in the morning. And he was doing the, uh, the, this is after the Justin Timberlake tour and Watch the Throne. Mm. He was doing the Holy Grail tour. Mm. We found out he was in town. Me and Keebler, wherever Keebler's at, mm. I said, yo, I want to go see Jay-Z perform. Uh. We reach out, that's when he was still was with Was that with you? No, nah, no, nah, this is in Paris. It's not the Minneapolis mm-hmm. thing? This is in Paris. Okay. Mm. And, and uh, we got a, little t- a couple little time. I said, I want to go to the show. Mm. I, I reached out to the proper people, and they was like, yo, John, and when he was with John Manili. John Manili, the uh, he, said, he, said, mm-hmm. he said, reach out yeah. to John Manili. He's handling everything. I reached out to John, sent him an email. I'm like, I'm out of here. Anyway, we can go to the show. I'm thinking he ain't going to respond. That thing blipped in like two minutes. He's uh. like, yo, there's going to be passes waiting for you. All access. Wow. Come backstage. I'm going to have a spot for you. Wow. Make some noise for Jay-Z. I'm sorry, Primo. As soon as we go backstage after the show, because uh, Timberland was DJing mm-hmm. for him, we go backstage after the show, Jay Z goes, All right, what memory you got this time? <laughs> hey, could I introduce him to Keebler, my tour manager? Uh, he goes, Big hey, up Keebler. I, yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, Keebler. Thank, thank you for hooking us up, buddy. Thank you, Keebler. He's like, How you doing? He's like, How you doing, Keebler? Nice to meet you. He goes, Now, what you got memory this time? I said, you met Keebler before. He goes, oh, no. <laughs> How? I said, we were at Bad, uh, 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 Baseline Studios, and uh, Lupe Fiasco was auditioning for you. Mm. Oh, shit. And he had a big chain. This uh, Lupe Fiasco had a big chain on with a big medallion. Which he would never do right and now. And he was rapping for you now. And then he's he, he much more focused mm-hmm. on another level. But Lupe said, Fiasco, come on, Dream Champs, well, goddamn. What up, Lupe? <laughs> Lupe? Lupe's a homie. Yeah, big uh, homie. Uh, shot the first and 15. Uh, right. So he goes, he's, he's auditioning for Jay. Jay's listening to all these rhymes. Lupe puts on a beat in the CD player. The CD starts to go. You know how they when they skip. Lupe goes and and then it finally stops skipping and goes back into the rhyme. And we're like, so he killed it. So right there, Jay goes, I totally remember that day. And he was and then him and the next thing you know, him and Keebler off in the corner talking about sports. You know, just make some noise, guys, for that. Now here's the deal. Like, uh, when I interview people, mm-hmm. I like to, you know, dig into their life. Right. When I know the, peop- the, the, the people, uh-huh. I don't dig into their life because I know them already. Yeah. Both of you guys I knew already. Yeah. I know exactly what to ask you. But w- the thing about <laughs> y'all, what surprised me is y'all both come and y'all both do your own sound check. Oh, yeah. Is that? Yeah. 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 Mandatory. Yeah. And so they now, DJs, man. No, but what I'm asking is, I always would think, to. I always would think, like <coughs> you guys would have a DJ. Yeah, but he'll do my sound. We, we were talking about this, me and him. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was, I was so test. like. He's like, I thought they away. had DJ. I'm like, no, I, they I was like, DJ. I was like, yo, they didn't know how they do it. I'm like, let Primo do it. Yeah, that's how they, we've done shows. And I'm like, yo, mixes are even, everything. He's going to make it right. I had every show we did. I fixed it. The speakers? Ah. 
somehow. They got a bump. I, I have they got to hit. do sound check. I don't care. Even if I don't get no get to eat, sleep, I'm starving. Some of the foulest niggas in the world. Take a nap. I, I will not miss sound <laughs> check. My DJ, they produce it. I don't they want the sound got to be right. Because a lot of festivals, you got to just plug in, do right. a line check. Right. I'm like, yo, it's got to bang because mm-hmm. I'm going to deliver what you paid to get right. to get. What you paid for, you're going to pay to get me again. And you want your beat to be heard right. <laughs> so you yeah, don't right. never send like your assistant or nobody. You you guys. Mm-hmm. Keo said, with- we'll check it again before we start tonight. Wow. But, but uh, other than that, nah. Yeah, nah we, I gotta be there. Men I want to even see the, what the room looks like, so I already have a picture of what I'm stepping into when the crowd is here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you gotta let a man do what he gotta do. Yeah. yeah. If he wanna do it, he wanted to do it. Yeah. 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 Pete, sometimes Peter be like, no, I see you. <laughs> I see yeah, you I'm going out. Me do it. I see if if if, if Primo didn't yell, yeah, oh, he was like, yo, he, he said, he said you would have stayed there. I would. Yeah. I would have been DJ. <laughs> no, he yeah. was he was there. <laughs> he, 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 he was spinning the rest of the night. You know what that is? That's just the love of hip hop. He was about to open up for himself. He would have. Yeah, he would have. Dude, he would have done another hour and we'd be like, yo, Pete, come on. And it's not even a bad thing. I was like, yo, Pete, come on. We've been on the road where I'll get mad and not in a bad way. It's like, Pete, we got to go. Yo, I'm at the record store. No, he yo, forgot we were dude, here. we were in Tokyo one time and we're about to miss our plane. Yeah. And he goes, I'm, I, 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 I got to get this record. Yeah. We're like, yo, I'm not missing my plane for you, especially on the day you're finally going home. Right. And, you know, the day you're going home, you're just so ready to go back home. Yeah. And we've been out for like a week yeah. in, in another country. And he's like, yo, I got to get this record. I'm like, dog, if we do not make this plane because of you, we're going to. And that's actually how the whole P-Rock versus Premier thing started. Though. Because of that day, yeah. we got on the bus and said, you know what, man, we need to make an album where we can get our attention out and make an album, <laughs> going at each other, making ill Wait, so y'all doing an album too? We're going to do an album called P- PVP, PVP. P versus Premier. God damn it. The hats are available. That. That's the, hats the record, are... that record? Are we doing that? Listen, you can buy the hats I'm right doing now. Well, no. Send me that record. Premier was here that time. I'll do it tomorrow. Do. <laughs> yeah, I have a website that just carries the hats. Well, so now, say the website. Wait, wait, say the website again. PremierWasHere.com. Oh, and PeteRock.com too. Yep, and just go to the shop section. Oh, I didn't mix it, that it at has, all. It has, it has all official. That was not good. <laughs> it has all official Gangstar products, all official Guru products, all official Premier products, and me and Pete <laughs> share the, the the hats. And we have green, red, blue, black, Dope. gray, and black. We yep. have two tones. So, so yep. what happened when black y'all saw white. this battle? Individually oh, In Japan man. Because with Japan. That's where it started That's where yeah, it really No, no I'm talking about When y'all saw the Just Blaze And Swiss, and Swiss battle. battle Because everybody's honestly, acting like Honestly Everybody was you know acting what? like That was the first battle You know what, because, because, you know what? because we've been doing it so much Right yeah, it, it was more like Alright, cool And this ain't their first battle together They've done it before No, no, not no, with no, us No, no, no this is their first one yeah. well, first It started, started from Drink Champs No, the other one was with Kanye It's Kanye at Summer Jam It started in Drink Champs But it started on Drink Champs Yeah, it was with Kanye That's different from ours though Right Yeah no, y'all's is like y'all's is like yeah, the migrating the, the culture. And, but and the next day is, they started posting that me and you need to. I'm like we've been doing uh-huh. it already. Yeah, you've been doing it. And it's like y'all missed the they fucking ride. You know I'm a hip hop historian. I know. Yeah. But what did you? What was your first thing when you when you heard that they battled and and it well, got Swiss? I have the phone. Yeah. Uh, where's my phone at? It, I'll Swiss show text you. you to come. Yes. He did. Mm. Yo, Key. We believe you, well, yeah. Actually, while we while we waiting, I forgot. I got oh, we got gifts. We got gifts. We got nice. gifts for y'all, man. Drink champ like shirts. Pick up the eight and nine clothes. Shout into. out to eight and nine. I remember when you did the remix mm. to. There he goes again. Shout out to people. So who's in there? It was me. I got that. I don't know. I don't, give it to me. All right. I'm in. Uh, <laughs> but but. but uh, it's from the perspective of what we think is hot, right. and I remember when you did the remix to uh, uh, those keep calling, I ain't picking up. Those keep, you did it with uh, with uh, uh, what's his name, City Boy D. Yep. Mm. Look at Primo. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. This nigga he got knows. a hell of a yeah, brain. Yes. Hit you that. did a version. Uh-huh. You did a version. Hit that Primo. Come you did a version. You gotta right. stop. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Devil emoji. <laughs> Devil emoji. This guy's a devil. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Pass it to me now. Yes. 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 <laughs> Since I see him doing yeah. my turn. <laughs> I play. <coughs> I, I said Diego. I, yeah. I played your, your version mm-hmm. more than Fab's, mm. but shout to Fab. Big up because Fab. Because Fab, Fab is, a, is a dope lyricist mm. that knows how to do club records, radio records, and still have a 
really clever way of writing his rhymes. Right. I love Fab, and I'm a big fan of his, but me too. your version fit more of the format of what I represent. God damn it, big me up. The most grimiest, <laughs> muddiest, <laughs> dirtiest, like you said, no <laughs> clean shoes, no high yeah. heels. I don't like that. Your version was yes. the one I played. Yes. So is we're on we're on every Friday night from uh, 10 p.m. to midnight on Sirius yeah. XM Satellite Radio, mm. yep. Channel 44, Hip Hop Nation. Yeah. And uh, what I represent is the era of the 80s with Molly Ma, Red Alert, uh, mm. Chuck Chill Out, Awesome mm. 2. Magic Mike. Just, just, in, yeah, man, just, just, shout to Mike. just in the 2000 era or whatever year we're in, right. I still keep it to that. And there's so many artists that have hot stuff out that will never get played anywhere else. So I'm like, I'll play it, send it to me. If I like it and it's on that, that level, it's going to get broken. Yeah. And, and, and that way, not only do you trust me, you also start to focus on, you know what, if he's playing it, it's got to be real. So, right. Yep. And that's really what it is. Uh, so all of stuff. that, true. what's that? But now, the, the, the Just Blaze, Swiss Beats battle. So it happens, right? I'm on my way and to then the show. Saying, I'm they're on my way acting to the like show. this is the first I'm on my way battle. to the show, and Swiss is texting me saying, yo, I'd like you to come check this out. But wow. my show's on from 10 to midnight. It's starting at 10 o'clock. Right. Wow. He's like, yo, man, I really like doing Now I would have gone, definitely. I definitely would have gone, but... I'm not abandoning my show because again it's live. It's not pre- if it's pre-recorded, cool. Right. right. Live is a whole different animal. Live is when you have we're not scripted, nothing. We just roll. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And when it comes to the how we do it, everything just flows from minute to minute, second to second, beat to beat, voice to voice on just the realness of hip hop from my perspective. So when it came to Swiss beats, and uh, uh, Just Blaze doing doing the show. As soon as I got off the air, I checked my Instagram and saw they were live. I went to Swiss Beats, and I clicked on it. I went to see my man DJ Rectangle, who's one of the dopest battle DJs oh, yeah. ever. He'll make the the, the, the scratch vinyl yeah. joint. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I go to his show to watch him do a, a party gig, and I'm in there with my phone going. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, I was Two talking. in the morning yeah. I'm like, it's still on? Man. From 10 o'clock yeah, to I was, 2 I, Yeah, from 10 to and 2 And I'm doing this yeah. Looking at him a little bit <laughs> Q-tip called then me Then they switch it over Now just got the beat Yeah, uh, that was so hip I'm doing like, this That was so Q-tip hip Q-tip called so, you Q-tip called me and Said, yo, tune in at 10 o'clock And the just guy's going Yo, what are you doing? What are you battle. doing? Uh. I said, yo Just blazing them Still battling It's almost 2 in the morning yep. And I'm sitting there doing this In a corner in the club Where it looks like I'm like a a uh, sore thumb But I'm like Nah I'm watching this And checking it out Cause I want to see What they're doing yeah. To battle Cause they started Pulling out beats At no one Oh they went in They went in So that's why I'm like Man they so can Primo, go So Primo you still A fan of the culture Like that yeah, I will bro. remain yeah, bro. Cause you know why I, th- I guess being from Texas I wanted to be accepted By New York Because at the time I came If New York didn't accept you It didn't matter Where you were from In that you time You yeah. that acceptance uh, I got that acceptance from the greats. Yes. I wanted EPMD to love me. Mm. I wanted uh, Big Daddy Kane to love yep. me. Rock mm. Kim, yep. KRS One. Yep. I God wanted damn. Grandmaster Flash, Molly. Mass. All these motherfuckers better be on there. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you got that and more. Same as me. Jazz, DJ Jazzy yeah. J. You became that. Jazzy Jeff, um, Cash Money, DJ Scratch, and I, I just want uh, Howie T. Um, like, give me the blunt. You ain't smoking. Yeah, I, you I saw me smoke you. though. Uh, I did earlier. No, let's just say but he's not smoking. Up. Earlier it was five Evil minutes emoji. ago. That's not, early. That's not too early. That was recent. <laughs> it was yeah, it was yeah definitely was five recent. minutes ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy, this yeah, guy. Continue, continue. I told you, 50 years old. Your yeah. mind stays sharp. Yeah, yeah, you sharp. You sharp. Stay sharp. That's a good week because it got me There's not a drug. You got to look at your lips. This is when you know you're on point. Yeah. Never has any drug that I've ever used defeated me. Uh, <laughs> and now, Very important. at 50, I'm on my level. Yeah. You, you gotta take a Molly, though. Yeah, Let's man. take a Molly. No, don't no, listen to this guy. Don't listen to this guy. That was guy, junior man. high. Yo, that stop was, it, bro. Dude, dude, that was yeah. junior high, ninth grade. Yo, you hit a Molly before this guy. That was 81. What's next? Heroin? That was 81. No, 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 no. That was 81 when they was called Black Molly, and that was the only Oh, my God. There's a Black Molly? What the fuck? Wait, See, cut it in half. Put, dude, put us on. Dude, what, what is this? Put us on. He wants the black Molly. I would like a black Molly. I'm going to take a black Molly. Like right? I said, all that stuff now <laughs> is just all... He's like, that's not the business. All that stuff is mumble jumble stuff now. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like I said, these are my high school days. Right. So, my high school days, I graduated in high school in 84. Okay. So, mm. imagine... 
our era of, of getting lifted. And you looking good, and we're going to respect well, you. I just started training again. No, we, you looking Vic good. Black. I'm getting my, 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 you know, I love food, man. I love I love ice cream. No, I love food. Hershey's <laughs> chocolate syrup. Shout, shout out to all of that. This is the first yo, time ice cream yo, got shouted out on the podcast. <laughs> but that's hard. And that's, 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 that's right. When you go to Baskin Robbins. You can shout it out ice cream. Listen, I respect If you go to Baskin Robbins and get three scoops in a cup, it ain't official till you take the Hershey syrup and gouge it. So you can't see yeah. Hershey syrup. When you when you make a ruler, you don't want to see no green. Mm. But you know the green is in the blunt. Mm. That's how you do it. Let's go, Primo. That's the level we, that we come. No, we just went from ice cream to drugs. You know, yeah. so the dirty. Right? So, so, you know, so, yeah. so from I don't want no dirty. <laughs> so, so, I just say no dirty. So to make it to the this only far, thing I listen to, so Nancy to make Reagan. it this far from all the Tell people that we've lost. Tell them, Prime. That, that we lost to all different things from being shot, being mm. the bad diseases, eating bad health, all that stuff. It let me know I'm here for a reason. Love your life and fix your life to be able to have a longer life. My mm. parents are 88. Let's make some noise for that. My right. parents are 88. My mom's 88. My dad's 88. They good. They got issues, but they still kicking. My father makes all the food. He's like, get away from my, stay out of my kitchen. Let me stay, get out of my way. I want to be 88 <laughs> doing that. But I guarantee they never did the black Molly. You don't know that. Just put it this way. I he won't admit it. He won't admit it. He won't admit it. Where's the black Molly? I'm in. When I was in high school, when I was in high school, you had black Mollies. No, yes. Tenth grade. Tenth grade. I was sixteen. When, 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 yeah, for me, it's talking about black Mollies. This is hard. When I was sixteen, it's totally dream. Listen, when I was sixteen, there was only one ecstasy. Mm. Only one. It was you white. Wait, wait. What no. year is this? 1982. Was it pink? 82, there was 82, already ecstasy? 82, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 82, they had ecstasy? How are you? I'm 41. Oh, damn. Wait, they had ecstasy <laughs> in 82? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Ecstasy. Yeah. I'm white beard gang, but chill out, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody cool over here, bro. Yo, yeah. why is that a surprise? Yo, dude, there was only, <laughs> it was only one ecstasy. It was the color of this, uh, th- this wood right here. This wood? Yeah. It was, and it was, ecstasy. It was yeah. called ecstasy? Yes. But damn, damn yes. that shit wasn't popping until the damn, 90s. I didn't know that. Oh, you weren't around during that time. No mm. this. No, 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 I, no I was sucking my thumb. You said you're 41. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm 10 years older than you. Mm. Yeah. So you gotta relax. That's, that's what you're saying. <laughs> you tell me you're relaxed. Again, 81, I graduated high school in 84. Mm. So that's I graduated in 81? 93. I graduated in 93. Listen, listen. There was 90. one style of ecstasy. One style of Molly. That was it. There mm. wasn't all twenty and ten. There was all those. There, there pills wasn't already? Billy Bear and Sherry Cherry Juice and all these funny names. And, and you smoke cocaine Cadillac as well. Jim. <laughs> no, smoke cocaine was more of a smoking a smoke cocaine. What's called a coolie? It's called crack. Uh, uh, a woolie. Cool. <laughs> no, a woolie is crack and weed. Mm. Oh, so a coolie. Coolie is coke cocaine. and a cigarette. And that I don't care how you smoke oh, cocaine. Yeah. It's crack. Damn. Yeah. 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 It's crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was so, born in '77. It's all good. 77 yeah. the blackout. I was there. You was there. I was visiting I, my I grandfather. Do remember the blackout? He was I wasn't at your birth in, in my mind. Yet, but I was there staying with my grandfather. My Listen, wife guys, gotta relax. Turn off your <laughs> ringer, buddy. Yeah, my wife gotta relax. But yeah, during those days, it was only one of each type. That's why when I see what's going on now, it's like, damn, man, these people are so lost because there's all kinds of weird shit floating out. I don't want to be around none of that. Mm. You know, we're around the pure, and again, that's kind of like the hippie 70s right. hallucinogens. And, it was a time. And all yeah. that. The, 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 uh, but but the, those beats you was making. The barbitch, the, what do they call it? You can't, you can't yeah. give the drugs right, a little right. bit of props? <laughs> give the we, drugs did, we, did that, we did that at the beginning no. of the interview. Yo, you're <laughs> the only guy that gives drugs. I just, I make some noise like, for drugs? I just feel like you gotta make no, noise no, for no, drugs. No, 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 I'm not making no, noise no, for no, drugs. No, 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 drugs. Sorry, I'm not making no, say no noise for drugs. drugs. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. But but again, I'm glad that I made it. I'm glad that I understand the concept of that era because understanding it and understanding where your cutoff point is. Right. Yeah. Don't need no rehab. You rehab yourself with your mind. That's Absolutely. right. You I, you know I always said that. Yeah, you rehab you gotta yourself. You got to have control of yourself. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I know when the to go. The substance yo, can't control you. I know when to you. tell myself that's too much. Yes. yes. Go back to normal. And then and that's how people can wonder about you. Right. But they can't say, yo, my man is lost. He's gone. Yeah. You can mm. never say, I'm gone. Yeah, man. I'm always here. Yeah, Let's make some noise for that. Damn. Now, Pete. Oh, yes. You was recently beefing with one of <laughs> these young niggas. 
What, 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 what young nigga you was beefing with? <laughs> you know, hey, listen, man. Who was you beefing with? Um, Lil Yachty? From Yachty, Young Dolph, you know. I, you don't even know who you was beefing with. I mean, with, all of us from Miles' time. What you know, happened? We all what dissatisfied. Let's describe what happened. You ain't you dissatisfied with the dude? Um, no, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. I'll say this. We had, a, we had listen, a retargument the other day. I had a little, uh, listen, I had a little Uzi Vert situation. Oh, that was you. Yeah, but no, it, it wasn't it a cypher. It was a cypher show, But right? I wasn't offended by that. Why would I be offended that he don't want to rap to that? If that's not what he want to rap to, no, what beat was it? A uh, mass appeal. That's not really a beat to freestyle. No, it don't make sense for him. It don't make sense for him. It don't make sense for him. Which I'm not mad. I have other gangstar beats you can rap to for freestyle. Wait, time out. It wasn't Mass Appeal. You got yeah, it. it was. You it was Mass Appeal. It was. It was. It was Mass Appeal. I'm Memory Man. And on Ebro in the I'm morning. Memory I man. saw it. I saw it too. And it what happened? Appeal. Let's describe this. Because I'm not rapping to that. So. And he said, why he's I not rapping to that? I gave him a break beat. So listen. He still wouldn't have done Twitter it. Twitter started blowing up on my Twitter. Yes. Started getting out of hand. Everybody dissing him. Then he joins in. So I watch to see what he says. So I checked his traffic. Because I got to make sure I'm yeah. on point before I do anything. You always got to stay focused on being on point. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. Yeah. I don't never want to be looked at as a person that got played ever. And right. I'm not going to be looked that way. Absolutely. Ever. Right. So Tell when I checked the thread, mm. I was like, yo, 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 because it's getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. My fans are going hard on him. Like, yo, you, you know, they're just, they, they, they doing the with this. Yes. They want to kill him. Yeah. Yes. So I'm like, yo. Throw it out there. I'm like, listen, big up to him, man. He ain't, he, he ain't got around to that. If he don't like that, he doesn't like that. That's what I put. I said, you That's know, real. Let him rap to what, what he feels like is comfortable. So that made him join in and say, yo, DM me. We DM'd each other. He said, listen, man, anything I can learn from you, put me on and, and, and get beautiful. me to the next That's level. real as fuck. Right That's, there, I said, That's real as fuck. I said, I said, you know what? We didn't know I, that. I said, I'm down to do a joint with you. Hey. My fans may get mad, but the only nah, difference you're is you're helping the community. But the difference is, Same thing I'm me. not going to make a record that's, that I can't let leave the studio till me and him on the same level right. where it's like, yo, wait till they you hear gotta, no, You're not going to compromise yourself. Yeah. You're going to work no, the record. No, no, but, but that's but the I thing like about the Preem. To learn. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you work with Preem or you work with Pete, <laughs> yeah. these brothers are so professional. All you gotta do is send the vocals and then relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, he taught relax. me yeah. skills that I turn into my own skill. It, mm. It's not biting him, right. but he's like, yo, this is how you do it. So I, I was like, yo, how, you remember me when scratch you did hooks. reminisce? I was like, yo, but I was like, how are you well, making the bass? He said, he said, I talked some scratch. I was like, how are you making the bass? Get fuller and mimic the sample. He said it's the same sample, but I filtered it. I'm like, but how do you do that? Mm. He says, come over, I'll show you, but don't show nobody. <laughs> he shows me. I'm like, so you turn it to that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same uh. thing we have, but I never knew that part of the equipment. He right. said, turn it to that. I started doing it. X girl to next girl. No, no, that's no, one no, of my no, favorite that, joints. Right that's when you go into it, your joints. Let's go into it. Right 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 it reminds me of all my relationships. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so when it goes in that part, where does it go? It muffles. Twenty-five. I sent it to Pete sorry? to make sure I was doing it right. I love my wife. I'm sorry. I believe in myself and all that stuff, but I wanted to I make sure I was right. doing it right. So I sent it to him for approval, and I go, "Yo, did I do it right?" He goes, "Oh, that's gonna be a hit. It was a hit. Big hit." So you got pee -pee? That, you come that, back, that, pee that right there shows you that the respect for what he was doing before I even knew how he was doing it, he was willing to show me the trick because he <laughs> knew he he didn't take it like oh no nah, you gonna beat my pipe my style nah, nah, nah but look he at let me suit. let me borrow that tool yeah. and then when I applied that tool it wasn't a bite it's just another another extension of what he taught me that's why him large professor and showbiz are my three. Mentors and again, Marley Maul didn't show me anything in person, right? But just what he did make the music with your mouth biz, Listen nobody to beats the biz, mm -hmm. road to the riches. A lot of people in the circle have said they've given them the, the I gave him that record. That's all good. He did the uh, 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 mm. uh, 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 uh. And That's what it's all about. Yeah. Who made it bounce that way? Who made your echo sound that way? Who made your voice sound funky that way? Yeah. Molly did it. And that's all that matters to me. Right. Because that's what makes me be premier in order to be, to stay doing it the way right. I do it for the rest of my life and in my passing. 
it's because of how I study a great one. So whatever you brought to him is what you brought to him. He still made it glow. Yep. The guru used to always say that. Yep. You and Eddie Sancho make everything glow. Sancho. He said, oh, I just man. laid my part down, but you make it light up. Molly makes things light up. So no matter what you bring him or you gave him everything, he made it light up. And without the light, there's darkness. I want to be in light. Yeah. What do y'all think about me? like the separation of sampling and hip hop to mm. now? Um, I mean, does it matter? We understand the rules and the sample laws. I mean, I understand the sampling so we, 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 and, and financially, just, but it, did. it takes away the soul. No. Uh, me personally, I think no. sometimes it does. No. You just get ill with your sample. Yeah. Mm. What now, now and cutting it? So, yeah. so nobody knows what yeah. it is. And if it's bad, but you're still sampling. Now it's, you might go bam, 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 yep. and just get. That but same. you're still sampling. Yeah. Or but, follow yeah. Jay Dillard blueprint. Which is what? Which is yeah. The That's, chops. Oh, I mean, you we're know, lost because we're not producing in little, little, little mm-hmm. pieces. Oh, like a lot. We of know the now that I, I, w- w- the safety zone versus, and then if it's to a point where we got to do it and, and it's really that 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 important, clear it. Clear. I clear yeah. stuff now. I got mad clearances now. No, so we got no money. We can't clear anything. Just make some you know, money. Clear the goddamn <laughs> Don't tell me that. I'm going to have to get fucked up. You're in trouble. <laughs> like I said, he taught me scratch hooks. If you just listen to a lot of my joints, it's, it's just me scratching. Shit, after your scratches are crazy. Because my, my you were doing just, radio already with Molly Ma. I'm yeah. like, damn, this new guy, Pete Rock, he's nasty because Molly had a certain scratch style. Right. On, on Let's make sure show. this out there. Mm-hmm. Kind of foul nigga. I'm going to smoke a camel crush. Smoke a horrible. <laughs> in our face. Smoke in your face. face. Hey, in our face. Y'all, We're all going to die because of him is, right now. This is good, but This, is, this is Winthal. Just give us cancer. White people menthol. Okay. Winthol. <laughs> white people like Lucky Strikes. You got, Parliaments. You got to fuck with the white Parliaments. people. Parliaments. Twin, you leaving? I'm going to the bathroom. Ah, uh, are uh, you good? Yeah, yeah. You know, Paul, the Palmer's is a white, as a white, white person is a yeah, cigarette. You know what what, what, when we did the record, the record that we did together, mm-hmm. I say I think that I was the first person to ask you to cut up Guru's vocals. Yeah, was well, I? Well, you sent me everything. Right. Was you I the first person to do that or no? No. Because oh, okay. Jay-Z, so, Jay-Z yeah. did it. No, no, but after his death, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't know. And I, you, I, sent, I, you sent me everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, he, he and, had hosted Mad yeah. Mix Tapes for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, K Slate. And I was uh, honored. Yeah, K Slate. Yeah, yeah, I had K Slate as well. Production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no, DJ EFN. Yeah, was, yep. uh, no, EFN was Guru. DJ was K Slate. K Slate. Damn, uh, your great. memory really is impeccable. Shy. Yeah, Holy I, shit. I, I, can't, I have nothing against him. I think now, DJ, DJs have ill memories. Yeah, we have, now, we have some memories. I apologize for acting. No apology <laughs> needed, Nori. <laughs> but, <laughs> yo, Guru oh, passes took, away. Pass that? There's no apology needed right. when you have this. Right. So, but, but you we can't don't need get that. that. Apologies, yeah, apologies, million. apologies don't get never, you this. I only sold one million records. <laughs> so, to have 20. You niggas better stop listening, guys. <laughs> Jesus. But, all right. But, Google passes Marco, Marco, away. Marco, Marco, Google yeah. passes away. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what, what's, what, what's this man? I forgot his name. You got to say it. I can't say it. Oh, just g- 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 no, 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 no. Not even with the G. Oh, sir, sir. Yeah. Holy shit. Y'all I don't even know what's going on right now. He, he don't, he, Can you help me out? He don't deserve He don't deserve to be, uh, be uh, said from my It's not a good person? Mom. Yeah. I ain't going to say it either. Oh, Solar. Solar in, in Solar. France. No, no. That's two different ones. MC Solar different. is not the MC same one? MC Solar is S-O-L-A-A-R. So it's another Solar? He's from France. He's dope. That's my dude. Right. Yeah, so it's yeah, another Solar of course, together. Of course. All right. So we got to clarify that. He's the original So Solar, solar. I'm, right. so, I'm so sorry to, no. to ask you this. But as long as I ask you it. this. As long as you say it. But Solar makes these claims. Mm. And then where does Premier stand on these, these claims? Oh, like I'm, ownership I, and all that type of stuff? Yeah. Uh, I'll put it to you like this. Um... People can yap, say what they want to say, and all that type of stuff. That's all cool, because I don't have nothing to say when it comes to that. Right. But if old boy does anything, mm. then I'm have a lot to say. It's a problem. Mm. Simple and plain. Mm. Gotcha. That's my Belichick moment. Heard you. That, that was Bill Belichick. If anything's moment. done. Let's <laughs> scream. We love you, bro. Yeah, bro. we love you back. And we love you and everything you meant to hip hop. Yeah, and then you know it was it was a funny well, moment. Well, well, everything I mean to hip hop, but I'm still yeah. here. No, everything you mean <laughs> to hip hop. I apologize. Yeah, it's all everything good. you mean to hip hop. And you know, 
it was a funny moment for us in hip hop when we got to hear like, you know, that's like yo gangster ah, uh, and you know, and then yeah, and then and all this that. guy we never because we it's, it's similar to how pun like when pun died. I walked to his casket, mm-hmm. and they told me. I he said had all the jewels. Yes, I, yes, he did. Because I thought the casket. In most funeral homes, mm-hmm. the casket's at the front. Yep. His was in the middle of middle. the, fu- of middle the of floor. The shit. Yep. So when I walk in, it's like, oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's right there. And the casket right was. There. I've never seen a casket like this. Okay. I've never um, seen a casket like this. The casket was short. Right. And super duper right. wide, right. and he had all his TS chains around his mm. hands, uh. and it looked like he was kissing the sky because his lips were puckered up like. Right. That's and, crazy. and that's and my, my memory. point. My point of bringing this up was when I when I went to Pun's casket, people told me that Pun suffered. <coughs> The son pun what? Pun suffered. Right. And that now he's in a better place. And mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know what people meant by mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So when I heard, you know, Guru pass, yeah, and I, I've never, place. I've never seen Guru suffer. Nah, so me I, neither, I, me okay. neither. Okay. So everything was just as strange to not okay. just me, everybody it, in it our, felt like it, not the fans uh-huh. who we are massive. Uh-huh. It's strange to everybody. It's strange to me. Mm. It's strange to the fans because old boy don't know my man like I know my man. Mm. We know him yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. If I really wanted to grade dude on a five quiz questionnaire, mm. I guarantee you he'll fail, fail every answer. Mm. Simple and plain because you had to really, 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 really know my dude. Right so now. you will fail. I can watch you right now and make every little and simple questions. Mm. Not hard ones. Simple <laughs> questions. He's going to fail and it's going to also be multiple choice A, B, C, or D mm-hmm. you're not going to pick the right answer and I know this because I know this and I know him I know mm-hmm. both of them yeah. so that's why I don't entertain him because right. anytime he wants to ever go there right. I'm here right. I and mean, if I'm not here I'm here uh, right. you feel God me God damn it Thank you that's for me why I do not say his name it's Thank not you. worthy of Thank it Thank you because hip hop needed to hear that. Yeah. Hip hop, uh, hip hop uh, really needed to hear um, that. How can we make them do that? When things is the right move, I know when it is. Uh-huh. I got the right people around me, from legal to my management to my artist to the street. To me, yeah. even being in the street, I have a street mentality that keeps me grounded, That's and I have a dope about. mom and dad yeah. and sisters and yeah. nieces uh-huh. and nephews. I got yes, a five year old son yeah. who's my dude. Yeah. Shout to his mother; yeah. she's she's on point. Son and Everybody, like yeah. we're that. Connected on making sure we don't ever fuck up yeah. with the social media stuff, no making us look like we're no fools. No right. I ain't going out no like doubt, that. No I'm premier. Yes, sir. That Prairie you motherfucker. Motherfucking DJ premier in this motherfucker. Yeah, listen. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. When me and this guy to the right of me started this, we sat down and we said we want to only give love to the legends. Yeah, no doubt. The legends of hip hop. Y'all are great. And you guys are the epitome of legends. Oh, this is this is the pinnacle. And I can't I can't thank you enough. Like, you know, both of you guys have gave me beats. And that's what's crazy about this. The thing about it is I still can't do that tonight. I still owe you. you Yeah, we here. We here. I still owe you both. No doubt. Because I love you. No, you don't. Nah, I love you you guys because I I definitely owe you. I owe you. I've been starving. I've been starving to give you a song. But that beat, that beat tonight, please give me that. Please that beat is crazy. Please give me that. Oh man. Yo, my dude. I was cutting the pee rock. Yo, yo, oh my God. I grabbed the mic. He goes, you got a mic? He goes, give me the mic. Give me the mic. Cause I want Pete to know, so you still got it. So they about to open up the club. Nah, but listen, I really want to do this for your album, Pete. Premier, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't have a childhood. No doubt. And this is real shit. Appreciate that, man. And that's real shit. I really love you guys. You gave us joints that we love. No, but I want to. The first time I heard. Oh, 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 man from TV. 
that. It's look, okay. It's look, okay. Look, 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 look it's, 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 it's in exactly. my ankle. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Swiss, I don't give a fuck. Swiss yes. not only killed that, yeah, he everybody up. on that song yeah. destroyed it. And dude, you had to I wait. I wanted to do a posse cut. You know what happened? I wanted to do a posse it's, cut. That's the nature, ultimate posse cut. Yeah. Nature body that open. Whoever you, you goes know what first, the crazy shit? Whoever goes first to me and whoever goes last yeah. has the most pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Went last. I went last. Yeah. That was that era. Because right now, listen, right now, if we do a pun? feature record. After pun? No, it was nature pun. Cam, you can what, what, what locks, all you want and then to. I'm the last. Yeah, you can what, and, what all you want and, to. Yeah, that, that's what <laughs> that, I wanted to do. Yo, dude. But you know what? My whole life, my whole career, it makes sense. I have a question. If, if it wasn't for you, brothers. I have a question yeah, on that really. song. You said that's why I'll never do a song with you. Yeah. Was that directed to anybody or was that just hey? Nah, no, yeah. you talking about yeah. somebody, bro? No, I'm, I'm oh, so oh, petty. I'm so this petty. Is my He's yeah. super was petty. It, I know. <laughs> I know he was <laughs> talking about somebody. Was it directed to somebody or is because you know it can also be universal? Just no, to no. Anybody. He's talking about somebody. I know so this guy. I always thought that they were like yo. That's why I'm not. It was like Joseph on the block. Yes, this is very true. Because <laughs> the thing about it is this. <laughs> I'm very petty. Mm-hmm. Premier, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you Pete, gotta be. Pete, I'm very petty, Pete. So, oh, just I don't give right a time. fuck. If right you time. trying to come up and you take a slight <laughs> shot at me, I'm coming to fuck right, at right. you. <laughs> I'm bodying you on the wreck. Right. Which is very hip hop. It hip-hop. just might go very hip hop. <laughs> right. But you. that's what I, that's who I, I am. You. When I met him. <laughs> This is how he looked yeah, at me. Man. He had all these twists in his head. That's right, I did. He had a I headband did. on. <laughs> He's at the front door. Yo, we got a session up at D and D. Yo, Premier, love your stuff. Yo, Jose Luis. Mm. <laughs> not, not Jose Luis. How you doing? He's like, yeah, Jose Luis. <laughs> Recognize me, <laughs> please, please. But the please fact that I was in LA, it was a pull on you right LA, there. LA, LA, LA was really bumping with a lot of DJs at that time because right. it was early. Right. So we don't really know who he is yet. Right, right. We just know Jose Luis got you. Jose Luis got you. And then around. And then around. Like Ben Emerald. Right. That was a joint. Like uh, even that, that rock Emerald. Yeah. Like yeah. not Emeralds, Emerald. That's the white label yeah. LA LA. We were go just ahead, going in. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's my first meeting of him. Not right. like, Jose Luis. They call yeah. him Noriega. Yeah. He goes, right. Jose, Jose Luis. Yeah. Like, like mm. don't forget right. that little dip. Is the reason why you gotta remember. <laughs> and that I was chip on his shoulder yeah. right but there. But the song was already out where it's like, that's the dude that did that yeah, first verse. Yeah, yeah. And that's the verse that made DJs go, Jose Luis, <laughs> Jose Luis, <laughs> Jose Luis, 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 I so got you know? I got Premier. Premier and just Pete <laughs> Rock. He just did a beat for you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. You know what? We gotta do something where we make a beat together, which Ooh. we've never done. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Together. Oh, oh God. God. We, we start things at Dream Chat. Let's start that yeah. right now. We're going you know, hard ahead. Because so. you know, you know, you know. You I don't know. know if you know. I, you know. I don't know, I don't know, know if you know. know. I don't know if you know. But wherever state you at, I'll fly there. Like, <laughs> just a fact. That part. And I, I would just love. Thank you. For lacing Word. black poets out Word. the black print. Oh, on that song. Thank you. no, no problem. You and body soul that verse. Verse. No problem. Yeah. You body so that verse. Out. Of shit. That verse. But is this is so the reason why raw. you're so much of an important producer. You can go and you can work with Christina Aguilera. Absolutely. And then you can turn around and you still care I about black music. poets. Listen, mm-hmm. I love music. <laughs> I love That's music. That's real shit. Listen, I love music. Because I get the Christina Aguilera <laughs> check. I'm, Yo, I'm, I'm, this is what it is. This is what it is. What's the bitch name? This is what it is. I got it. I got it. I fucked up too. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like messing with I'm all. In, I'm in Maui. I like messing with all styles of music because I am into country. Blues, mm. gospel, rock, punk, rock, rock from Houston. Yeah. Prairie View is the town. Did you ever drink lean? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to DJ yeah, Screw, yeah. by the way. DJ yeah. Screw. Shout out to DJ Screw. No, Let's talk about your yeah, lean but, story. But, but the lean, st- but even that, that's when it was like, now it's an epidemic. Mm. It wasn't an epidemic then. Mm. And it was something that you just did every occasion, mm. like going out to a bar and having a drink. Right, I don't right, drink right. every day. I don't, you know, mm. I, got, I got work to do. I got business to handle. I got to stay focused. I'm a five-year-old son. I'm focused. Mm. But... Five years on now at yeah, fifty. Yeah, yeah, what up, Look at you, you still fucking. I was <laughs> no question. I respect. This makes noise for me. Still fucking. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Michael, they're about to open the car. Right, yeah, wrap it up. We got to wrap it up. Finish the story. So I mean, so the, the 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 a lot of the things again that are just out of control are just way uh, publicized or promoted on a higher pedestal. Yes. I already did all that stuff. Yes. It's about living past that. 
mm. and being able to still function on what's the, the matters that keep you in the longevity bucket. Mm. I want to be in the longevity bucket. I don't want to mm. be in the, uh, you know, you had your time bucket. Right. You know, my bucket, want, I want to go all the way, even to, again, when I'm gone, it's still hot. Gangstar still hot. Absolutely. I keep Gangstar mm -hmm. still hot because I care about not just his legacy and our legacy as a, as a team, but his son. He has a 16-year-old son. Mm. I'm making sure his son's eating. Mm. I'm making sure his son's getting everything yes. that's his father's half. Is that just a poster? I, I wouldn't feel right that I, you know, my motto is this. I can sleep at night. Mm -hmm. That's my motto. That's Both the most important thing. That's Sleeping at motto. night? Yes. I can sleep That's at night. A lot of people, night. you can go people to sleep. People don't understand that. Yeah, we all have nightmares. Don't get me wrong. I have nightmares like anybody right. else. Yeah. But my nightmares are clear from how I analyze what I woke up to. How you handle and, your business? Yeah. You can sleep and, at and night. And again, we love my, you. Man, my mind's strong, man. So there it and is. I, I'm going to end this podcast by I can't thank you, brothers, enough. Thanks for having us. For helping helping me personally. Both of you both helped me personally because my career couldn't be complete. I could never complete my career without having a Pete Rock beat, no, without having you. a Premier beat. Appreciate and you, bro. Hip hop is what I want to continue to represent. I want to continue to stand yeah. by it. I can't believe yeah. 25 million, Woo. and I fucking hate this guy right Why here. Why do you hate me, bro? Because you knew you had a 25 million plaque. Yo, you let me ask. You should have told me on Wednesday. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you, God damn you, it. You I'm a good friend. You, you deserve a I fucking surprise. want to surprise yeah. you, bro. Yes, yes. You deserve a surprise. I'm a good friend, bro. You deserve a surprise. Yeah, yeah. You deserve I guess you don't know that. Yeah. You I love you, your friend. Are you having a moment right now? <laughs> yes, I'm having a moment. I love you, DJ <laughs> Premier. I love you, Pete Rock. I can't believe hip hop. Just remember this. Like you asked. Yes. Everything I do outside of hip hop. Right. When I do hip hop. I keep it hood. Keep it hood. Everything else, I can do ballads, slow songs, pop songs, doesn't matter because I like that music too. Yes, you do. Hip hop, I keep Got it. it hood. Yes. Keep it hood. Because yes. that's the way I like to listen to it when I buy it, drive to it, or have my radio. Yeah. If yeah. I don't, it's either my radio Yo. or this. You guys are the bedrock. Please. Yeah. Stay yeah. Listen, P -P -Rock listen, if is, it wasn't is, for you two brothers, I wouldn't have a childhood. Thank you, you brothers. That's well deserved what you got right there. What you got you. is better than anything yeah. you could say about yeah. it. Dude, I ain't gonna lie. That's beyond rap. This is a podcast. They should make it platinum though. Why do you make it gold? Well, no, they you know what? They fucked up. They fucked up. It was a platinum. It was go, go 25 first, million. No, no steps. It's not 25. Yeah, it's true. 500. You know what? You're right. Yeah. He went on that. Yeah, man. He went on that. I gotta relax. Let's look. Let's look. Relax. You know what? You know what? I can't relax. Yeah, you know what? To be you know, acting, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. He, he actually is right. It should be. It should be. It's, it's just, yeah, it should be. It should be. But I'm just happy to be here right now. I'm happy to be here, man. Yo, yeah, be here, man. Be here, man. And listen, give thanks, man. Give thanks. Two of the best producers of all time Thank have you. just now sat down. Absolutely, all time. With drink champs and Jim Beam. Jim Beam. They Jim Beam. You big enough, Jim Beam. Yeah, Jim Beam. Cut the chase. Cut the check. And I'm, you want to have a one more shot? Yeah. One Let's more shot. Oh, shit. We're going to do a shot? I'm not going to be on stage going. Because. We're going to kill because the game right now. Because at the end of the day, and we're going to sit here and watch the, the battle. Thanks Absolutely. for the bag. Because when I seen the battle, Thanks and when I seen that this, they said this is the first time. Holy excuse me. Shish kebabs. They, this they said. Yeah. The whole thing. This ain't nothing. This don't do nothing. No, my brother. Yeah, I definitely got to have a shot like that. Give him a shot right, man. All right. Careful. But um, when they said that this is the first time. Uh, producers has battled. No shot for you. I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt terrible. I felt terrible. They said that this is the first time the producers first battle, and I knew that y'all guys have done this. I knew that Just Blazer actually had done it with uh, Alchemist yeah. before. Yeah. And so we I wanted. Together. I wanted to actually big you brothers up God bless because you, bro. I understand what it is, but I, yeah. I also understand that Swiss. Also knows he, he's, Oh no he's, he, a he, 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 he's a student of the game He's a student of the game yeah. He's a student of the game oh, Love Swiss man. Does he love never he said that like He never said that Love Swiss yeah. Pick it up Pick listen, it up Pick it up I love you brothers Come Pete on, Rock you too. If you motherfuckers can't If you motherfuckers Google don't work You I need see to you, relax Pete. See me right Because yeah, 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 yeah. Boom These look are the two of oh, look The best producers Of all Fucking time Pete Rock and premiere of best producers of all fucking time. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.